Hey everybody, Renegade67 and or 8 here with some more Let's Play Stream Fate Stay Night of the Blind Variety. So, last time, uh, uh, what happened? What did we do? Um, right, it's been two days because I was playing Majora's Mask and I was playing Tokyo Literature Club, which I enjoyed. However, um, that's, that's then, this is now, this is Fate. Um, right, we're learning things, because they said we're going to teach things, so Rin bullied Sakura away, because that gives us more time to get taught. Um, so she's going to teach us how to do magic, and then Sabe is going to teach us how to sword fight. And Archer, really, assuming he's recovered enough, should teach us archery, to be honest, but whatever. Oh, that's good water. Um, I guess I should also say shout out to TD Spider. Spelt with a Y, T D S P Y D E R, followed me yesterday uh, after the Doki stream. Natural Born Thriller followed me just at the tail end of yesterday's Doki stream, so it technically wasn't included in the YouTube video. Um, also, if you're watching this but not Doki, yeah, I'm doing Majora's Mask Randomizer over on Twitch. It's not getting uploaded to YouTube. But, um, oh shoot, we're having some a hot debate and chat about Fate Grand Order. I have no, I have no stake in that, of course, as I've not seen that since we're just doing Stay Night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay out of that. <coughs> Sounds icky. But anyways, um, Sakura, Rin, Fate, let's learn things. I want to learn. Be the best, like no one, e oh god, I'm already back on Pokemon. That's what I was talking about before the stream started. Oh. No one ever was to catch them is my run, huh? To train half of them is my car. Oh, sorry. Triggered. <clears throat> but I won't be able to tell her why even when that time comes. <sighs> Man. Fudan. Sorry. I'm just trying to... I learned a Japanese word this morning. I don't want to forget it. Fudan means generally, normally. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's the general word. Fudan. Anyways. Man. Which is... Uh, oh, wait, that's boo. Boo is the kanji for man. I know that because, okay, sorry. Uh, sorry for all the Japanese all of a sudden, but I'm getting back into learning it. I was slacking on my Japanese practice for a while. But I'm getting daijoubu, which is um, okay or all right. It's all right. Um, the kanji for it is, is extremely memorable because it's like it, the three characters, it's three characters and they all, it's daijoubu and they all look the same ish. So it's very memorable to me. And the last one of those is boo. And, um, it, that is the man kanji, so, you know, fun facts with Renegade. Um, which, it's only boo when it's combined with daijo, I think, whereas on its own it's oto, or no, that's not true. That's fake news, don't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> okay, man, it's really getting to me. Gosh, speaking of Japanese, I recently, uh, someone I was following started streaming a, um, uh, a game that I feel like I heard about at some point, but never looked into. Uh, the, uh, like, learn, to learn Japanese hiragana battle, and... <laughs> oh, I was watching some of that. That's, that's pretty funny. <clears throat> Anyways, it's really getting to me. Fate! We're pl talking about Fate! I haven't played Fate for two days. Don't get off topic. It's depressing that I've rejected Sakura, who comes to help me all the time like this. Ah,随分と元気がないこと. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so dispirited. What happened to the power that made you scream at me? Is Emiya-kun so lonely without Sakura? Ooh, interesting. So you call me Shiro when we're intimate. But when referring to my relationship with, let's say, Sakura, you jokingly use the name Emiya-kun. Interesting decision on your part. That, hmm, hmm, as if this Emiya-kun that spends time with Sakura isn't the real Shiro. The real Shiro's the one that spends time with Rin, or at least that's what she'd like to think. Um, anyways, that's interesting. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn off voices for the time being. Eh, eh, and then who else is supposed to be here? Um, Sakura's not coming because she got bullied away by Rin. Or no, it, they, they made a trade-off, they made a trade-off. That's right. So Rin's going to stay for a week, and then Sakura's going to come back. It's depressing that I've rejected Sakura. <laughs> uh, I mean, you didn't reject her. I guess you rejected her sort of by proxy, but really, it was Rin, so... 
Kosaka makes an evil face. Yeah, but it's hot, so we forgive her. What? What? No, wrong person. Ilya's the one who's hot by being evil. <laughs> she just hasn't shown up for so long. Oh, Ilya, where are you? Crap, I knew she would make fun of me if I showed weakness, and now I've done it. Leave me alone. Anyway, soccer was a symbol of peace at my- <laughs> What? Did you really just say that? Soccer was a symbol of peace at my house. That is so cheesy. I thought we were done playing Doki. <laughs> she supplied something that was missing with just Fujine and me. But I sent her away for my convenience, so yeah, it's depressing. First of all, you didn't send her away. Rin did that for you. <laughs> so like, man, man up? Not even. You didn't even have to do it. Man down? Man down! <laughs> What? Uh, that's so. That's such a cheesy line. <laughs> oh, you do understand. You pass if you can say that. It seems you're getting more determined to win. Uh, I don't know if determined to win is the right phrase. Just determined to um, keep my promise to Saber because I want her to not fight because I want into her panties and I can't get into her panties if she dies or something like that. And I just assume she'll die in a fight, because apparently I'm more, less likely to die than she is. Uh, not quite, but yeah. Well, what are you trying to say, Tostaka? Don't you get it? I'm saying that Sakura will return once the fight is over. I mean, that's what she already said. She said Sakura would be away for a week. That's what she already said. You say you don't need the Holy Grail, but you could fight to keep the peace you have now. See? It's good to have a clear goal. It is good to have a clear goal. So, I guess, I mean, wait, wait, lady, it's good to have a clear goal. You have no wish. You have no wish. Your goal is just to win the grail. You have no wish. Tosaka says so with a big smile. Ellipses. Nope, dash, dash, dash. If she puts it like that, I can only agree. Can't spell agree without E. Jeez, how should I say this? Once again, I realize that this person is both in infinitely ill-natured and really great. <laughs> it's it's called being Sundari. I mean, it's like she's Sundari for you, but you're also Sundari for her, which is very rare. I mean, it's not very rare. Sorry, but um, it's it, at least in a game with a harem, it's rather rare. Sometimes you'll have the boy and the girl who like each other, but do they like each other? No, of course they don't. And they're Sundari for each other, but that's usually when they're the only roman romantic thing going on. When it's like a harem of females with the romance, usually the Sundari doesn't have the Sundari plus the Sundari. It's double Sundari, more than more Sun than I'm, um, than I'm used to in a harem. I mean, she has the goal of winning the Grail. That's her goal. It's just, you know, having a wish is a goal you would think that she doesn't bother with, so. What? Then Sakura-chan won't be coming here for a while? I mean, it'd be best if, you know, Fuji didn't come here either. I mean, I mean, like, right? I mean, like, what's the point? Okay, all right, this changes things. Hold on. Because how are we going to convince Fuji to not be here? Because unless we can convince Fuji to not be here, it sort of defeats the point. I mean, it doesn't defeat the point entirely because we don't want Sakura getting mixed up in this. What was Sakura having a stake sort of with um, Rin, Shiro, and Shinji and doesn't want to get in the middle of that, and I concur, but... If we want to, you know, actually, you know, maybe properly practice magic and stuff without, you know, any interference, we'd need Tiger to leave too. If Tiger doesn't leave and just Sakura does, then that feels like Rin did that for more of a romance reason than a practical reason. Now, I always felt like romance was part of it, but I felt like the practicality would have been forefront on the mind. However, we got to kick Fuji out somehow or this all feels a little pointless. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I guess we're trying to right now. So, why don't you go back home and give your parents a treat? Your father was complaining that his daughter didn't care about him. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can leave my dad alone. He won't die even if I'm not there. Oh, interesting. This is our first... Oh, interesting. 
I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna turn that voice back on for that because this is our first time really getting, you know. I mean, we've heard roughly about Fuji's dad, but we haven't really seen Fuji talk about Fuji's dad. Interesting. Put a tiger trap down. That's one way to kill a kill a tiger. Or wait, no. Yeah, their family name is Taiga. Fuji is the first name, which is interesting because Taiga is so, so befitting of Taiga. <laughs> Give your parents a treat. Interesting. So then, you know, Sakura chan ga inai nara, yokei wa dashi ga shikari shi nakucho dame janai. Shiro da to otoko no ko da mo? Manga ichi ga attara chokai menshok yo. What, you didn't think something might have happened? Between me and Sakura? <laughs> and I have to be firm, if Sakura-chan isn't here, you're a boy. So if something happens, you'll get a disciplinary dismissal. Can you take responsibility in that case? Uh, uh, I'll erase your memory with magic. Ren will erase your memory with ma Wait, no, we can't do that. That's right, we just kill people. Never mind, uh, uh, nope, okay, I promise. That won't... Unfortunately, man's nature does not let me declare that it won't happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Emiya-kun, what was that pause? Oh, not calling me Shiro because Fuji is here? Hmm, because you think of this as not the not your Shiro, not your personal Shiro. Just like how you called him Emiya-kun in response to Sakura. Interesting. Okay, the talk about your father's over. I guess I turned the voice back off. Heh. <laughs> Or is that sketchy? Is it sketchy that she's staying because she's secretly a master? No, I don't think so. She glares. <laughs> Tosaka's stare is painful. You know you want it though, Rin. You know you want it. Yeah, you're glad I paused. That's your sun showing. But you ha you're hiding your dare. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. This isn't a normal stay. I know that. Yakuza master, that's right. Master of the Yakuza class servant. I see, good. Emiya-kun is indeed trustworthy, Sensei. Ooh, that freaking smile. That smile. I love it when you smile like that. It's so evil. I love it. I mean, it doesn't have to be evil, but it, it just gives off that evil vibe. Of course, she is so calm that it makes me think I've gone too far with my tastes. Huh? Okay, I gotta dissect this line for a second. Shiro is so calm? Is that the right word? Shiro is so calm that it makes me think I've gone too far with my tastes. Too far with your tastes? What tastes? Like, your tastes in men? Your tastes in food? Your t This sentence is an enigma to me. I think I need a dictionary to decipher what all those words' hidden meaning is. Someone explain the subtext. Ellipses. Oh, and then there's Saber. That's right. She's still here. Saber silently watches them while eating. This is only the second day, but I don't think I'll ever get used to this atmosphere. Well, I mean, then die, because then you won't have to get used to it. Taiga initially wanted Shiro to be a non-angry boy and tried to influence him, but I mean, Taiga herself is rather rambunctious. He's being this calm. Oh, oh, she thinks she's been too calm gone too far and not making him an angry boy I could see that Sakura also definitely played a role in that in, in calming down my anger issues um, and yeah she would think he's too calm because she likes you know she herself is spastic but Shiro's a different kind of spastic I don't know I haven't seen kid Shiro but I'm pretty sure from the flashbacks I think he was roughly the same where he's kind of reserved but he just has a temper whereas his temper is a lot less temperish now it's more tempered <laughs> Oh yeah, Shiro, it's about the archery club, but did you know that Michizuri-san got injured? No, no! Ayako, what? No, how, when, where? No, no, she is the best wife who we've barely talked to. Michizuri, what? Did she get in a fight with someone again? Jeez, she's almost third year, so she should calm down a little. So how's the injury? Is it bad? It's fine, it was a light sprain. It seems she was attacked by someone suspicious on her way home. Attacked by some- Huh? Why? Is she a master? Or- Or did, was she attacked sporadically by someone who thought she was a master? Or- What's the- What happened? I gotta- I gotta go to her! 
She's, you know, I mean, she hasn't been much of a waifu, but like, this is her chance. This is my chance. This is the chance. She's fast, right? She ran away quickly, but injured herself when she fell over at the end. Oh no! We need to we go! Do do! Do the thing! Penis away! I see, thank god it was nothing serious. But attacking her of all people. He must be reckless or something. We, I, who? What? Did we see the attacker? Do we know the attacker? Was it a he? Was it a she? What? Who? Huh? Either way, he was a stupid criminal, I thought. Wait, what? Either way, he was a stupid criminal, I thought? You thought? Wait, what, how, why is that in quotes? <laughs> you thought she knocked him out instead of running away, right? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Rude. But I guess not untrue. Fujine smiles. Indeed, she knows Mitsuzuri Ayako well. Unlike me, who's, I think, only scratched the surface. Maybe now's the time to actually properly itch it, instead of just scratching it. Time to really itch this bruise. Ooh, don't do that. I'll itch your bruise, Ayako. I mean, and then kiss it better. <laughs> it's rare for her to run away. And, you know, it's, it's supposed to be Shinji that mustn't run away. But I see, even Mitsuzuri is weak against muggers. I guess that's good. It's impossible to teach her femininity unless something like this happens. What? What? What a dick. Not only are you sexist, but when someone falls out of line of your idea of the feminine gender, you think they need to be more feminine. So you, uh, I mean, it's like... It's like... Oh my gosh, Shiro. Fix your gender at your gender, to, your gender thought process. Approving? 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 Ah! I eat the well-cooked rice. Fuck you, Shiro! Oh my god! Emiya-kun. What, are you happy about it too? Then, Tosaka-rin pats my shoulder with a smile. What? Why? Is she happy that I don't seem too concerned because she wants me to be concerned for her? Should I tell you something interesting too? Uh... What? There isn't much that's more interesting than what I just heard. I mean, interesting is one word, but like, not a good kind of interesting. Why would you approve? Oh my god. <laughs> Mugger? Going out to rob random, you know, going out to mug random females? If they're tomboys, Shiro approves that. I mean, as long as they get away. But a little, you know, a little stabby, so long as they get away. A slight poke in the knee? Shiro's glad when stuff like that happens. It'll teach those grody tomboy females to get more in line and act more feminine. Oh my god, Shiro. Are you listening to yourself? Ah. Yeah, I haven't mentioned it, but Ayako and I are good friends. Do you know we're friends who hang out together on weekends? Okay. And? What's the point? What's your point? Hold on. Huh? What? Why are she and Ayako good friends? They're not masters. It's not because they're masters. They have a whole thing about... No, I mean... Is that what they're, they're hinting at? They're hinting at that because Rin had to really look into Ayako? No. No. Because they were fighting about boyfriends. Which is completely irrelevant from the whole magical thing. And would take away from her interactions with Shiro being the first time she could interact with someone her age about magic. So no, no, no. Okay, why are they good friends? Huh? Don't worry, I'll tell the exact words of this conversation. If I tell her you're happy, I bet she'll be so happy that she'll break about ten roof tiles. Oh, oh that's all? Just that you guys are friends? And that when she finds out that I was happy about her getting hurt? She'll kick my ass, rightly so. Okay, yes, I approve of this message. I approve of the message Rin is saying right now. That that I approve of. Okay. I was confused. Okay, I see. So Shiro was insulting Ayako, and he knew he was, but he didn't think it mattered. But Rin being good friends with her makes it matter. Okay. Okay, you almost threw me for a loop game. 
I would like my, to correct myself. I just used the wrong words. It's not something you tell other people about, so it would really help me out if you kept quiet about it. <laughs> I mean, it's just mild sexism. Gender roles. Stereotyping. Is that so? I can keep it a secret, but it might be hard unless there's some conditions on that. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Blackmail. <laughs> uh. You see, it could just slip out, you know. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? What is this? What do you want, woman? Ah! Hello, Worm38P. Uh, you followed me a while back, but um, it's nice to see you in my, you know, it's, ni it's nice to see you catching the stream that I am throwing. Ugh. It's not good to smile when you say something modest. Wait, modest? Huh? <laughs> That's not modest at all. It's probably completely indecent. It's probably terrible. Oh, I'm sorry, I sound like I'm having fun. Yes, you are! Don't misunderstand, you're definitely having fun. I see that face. I know that face! You're having all of the fun in the world. Oh no, I understand. Which part do you understand? What's happening? You really are having fun. I mean, yeah. Uh-huh. I get it. I'll make the breakfast western style from now on. Oh, wait. What? Wait, so, okay, I gotta turn the voices on. Clearly, I'm not, I'm not paying enough attention. Who's saying what? What's going on? Ah! Wait, is Shiro saying he'll make the breakfast from now on, and you'll make them all Western style to please Rin? But, like, is that really the extent of this? I thought Rin liked cooking. I think she enjoyed doing the cooking. Huh? <laughs> Uh, I now feel like accepting your request that breakfast should be toast. Wait, when did she request that? Huh? I thought she doesn't even eat breakfast. She usually skips breakfast. Huh? Huh? I feel like I missed something. Good. I'll be happy if you remember to use strawberry jam and not just marmalade. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, for one thing, I thought Rin normally skipped breakfast, but I guess she likes eating breakfast with Shiro now. Because, A, she's gotten a taste for it. Eh? Breakfast? Taste? Get it? Eh? Um, B, um, possibly that, uh, so maybe she's gotten a taste for breakfast with Shiro, and she also doesn't like the idea of Shiro having breakfast with other people and her not having a breakfast with them. And, um, maybe it's possible, hmm, and I guess, like, the idea, because earlier, when Ren started living with me, she is the one who suggested we'll do half and half on the food. She's the one who said we'll do half and half. I do half, you do half. It wasn't Shiro who said, pull your weight, do half. Rin could have just said, oh, and I assume you'll be cooking everything. She did, she did, that didn't happen at all. And she doesn't even eat breakfast normally. So this is two big changes. A, I think it shows her growing fondness of not breakfast necessarily, but breakfast with Shiro specifically and enjoying the act of it. With, yeah, with Shiro. So, so she's going to do it b because of the Shiro. And likes to do it because of the Shiro. However, as for who makes breakfast, she is now saying it should have to be Shiro that makes the breakfast. Because before, she just wanted to make the, she wanted to win at cooking. She clearly wanted to win at cooking. But then she's now giving in and likes his cooking. And just wants to give in to liking his cooking. Now that she's starting to more warm up to this being a more permanent partnership. So she's going to like all of his cooking. And force it to be her kind of cooking. To force him to her whims to show that she is the pants in this relationship. And also make it sort of a relationship. Everything is with Shiro for Renegade? You mean for Rin? This is just so, it feels like a, 
I know this is so minor, it's just about making breakfast, but it feels like a major character turning point. Okay? And I want to study the nuance. Alright. What do you think a Japanese morning, morning is? You're a tyrant changing breakfast to suit your own selfish tastes. Character rating is important. Yes, it is important. Um, and yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, Wiseful, we don't necessarily see everything Shiro sees. Yeah, because this, um... I mean, yeah, characters move the plot. I mean, if you have nothing but bland characters, usually the plot isn't that great. I mean, you could have a... That's not always true. Sometimes you can have a really intricate narrative. But, like, usually intricate narratives are based on character motivations, generally. Um, and if they're not, then the character motivations will... The story will usually end up disappointing you. But, anyways, though... Um, you're a tyrant changing breakfast to suit your own selfish tastes. But yeah, that's interesting because, like you said, Wiseful, I don't remember ever seeing this conversation about like, oh, you can't have Jap, you can't have your Western mornings. We have to have Japanese mornings. So like, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's, it's a lot of things all at once. Seems like a turning point. To to to, to quote some fights in Undertale, seems like a turning point. No, that is incorrect. I too am happy for breakfast to be bread. It should be perfect if soft-boiled eggs are prepared as well. Oh no! A new challenger approaches! Saber enters the cook. The cook fight. The fight of liking Shiro's cooking. Oh no! And Saber adds her opinion. Ah, so this guy. I got Fine, all right, I'll make Western-style breakfast, okay? You guys are on a roll just because Sakura makes Western-style food. I mean, do they really want him to make Western-style food, though? Maybe they... Hmm. Oh, hmm. Oh, that's fucking layered, at least from Rin's perspective. Um, I mean, I could see Saber liking Western-style food more because she is probably more from the Europe's, which I assume would have more Western-ish food. Um, but uh, it's interesting because Shiro is, is obviously best at Japanese food. He's not as good at Western. And yet they want him to make Western. At least from Rin's perspective, could that be husbando training? Could that be, um, could that be, oh, I want you to, to get good at doing Western food, Shiro, so you can cook Western food for me when we get married. Granted, she, I don't think she's quite still thinking that surface level. There's probably still some subconscious dancing going on, but I think that's possibly going on somewhere. Hammering in the point again that Shiro isn't the player since the player doesn't even seem to have all the experiences he's having. I mean, I suppose. The moments are minor enough. I guess. I suppose. I guess. I don't know, man. I feel like... Yeah, alright. I feel like if they're the character that you're seeing the point of view of, if you see their inner monologue... It feels dirty. It feels dirty seeing his inner monologue and him not being considered, you know, the player character. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing when you read a novel and you have a you have the inner monologue of the character, the protagonist, but you don't have choices when you read a novel. I guess one way to look at the choices then is that they're not you choosing, you're just choosing what Shiro would choose. These are all the things Shiro may have chosen in this point in time and you're choosing which view, which way you want to view the experience and that's... Fine, but I mean when I play visual novels, I play them to self-insert myself into Shiro so I can then through Shiro I mean through the main character self-insert myself into the females and have hot visual novel sex. I Feel gypped Never thought I was a kid in horror situations just choosing what they do. Oh, I mean that's a little different choosing the horror I mean that you know they're a dumb dumb and you that's what that's how I started looking at this though I even mentioned this with the whole Shinji thing when he went into Shinji's house That's how I'm looking at this now is that he's like the main character of a dumb horror You know not not he's the dumb main not main character of dumb horror But dumb main character of horror who is gonna walk into stupid things and my choices will just point out How he whether he walks into the stupid things or avoids the stupid traps so He's he is horror protagonist 
And the horror, though, is him dying gruesome deaths because he made... Because I led him down the wrong dumb choices. And that's really what it's starting to feel like. Uh, you guys are on a roll just because Sakura makes Western-style food. I'll find a way. I'll find a way, Worm 38. I'll self insert, and then I'll insert into the females. It'll happen. Watch me. I'll start making Western style breakfast starting tomorrow, so you guys will have no complaints, right? And that conversation's a secret. Don't tell me to Zuri about it. Oh, uh, really? Wow. Does it really matter that much to you? I'm surprised. I guess because you actually do kind of like I. You like all of the girls. You kind of like Ayako too. But like, you want her to be more feminine. You want her to be more worthy of your liking. Maybe. Isn't even the worst. Hmm. Uh, one of the Nasu protagonists has actual brain damage. I mean, are you kidding me? If you're telling me Shiro doesn't have brain damage, I don't believe you. He seems mentally damaged, at least to me. <clears throat> I look away from the two with a humph and start eating. Alright, the food wars are over. The food wars are over. Voices go back off. No more food. No more food for the rest of the game. Food is over. We don't eat anymore. No more eating. And then... Why are you doing something so pointless? Who? Which one? Fujine, who has watched our conversation with wonder and murmurs. Oh, are you actually getting to the heart of the matter? Why are you bothering to succumb to their whims just for the sake of, um, just for the sake of, uh, uh, of Ayako's thought process? Um, that's a, that's, that's an interesting point. And I was sort of thinking about it as well. Just because of Ayako, you're succumbing to their whims and starting to cook food you normally don't cook as well. And you're going to cook it all the times and not even have, like, Rin cook anymore. And yet, why? Because you like all of the females. You are interested in all of the females, and you want Ayako to be her better self, which is why, in your mind, her better self, in your sexist mind, you, you want Ayako to fill that gender role. However, you still like her and want her to be more likable. And you don't want her to know that you said that she wasn't likable because you like her. You just don't like that part of her. It's complicated. What? What do you mean, pointless, Fujine? Because I'll tell me to zero sign even if Tosaka sent. Oh, never mind everything I was just saying. But I'll ignore all the nuance. Of course, Fuji wasn't thinking like that. She's she's not that uh, she's not that subtle. Because I'll tell me to zero sign even if Tosaka sent doesn't. I can't keep quiet about something like this. <laughs> oh, Fuji, you're great. But also, oh, Fuji, why? Fujine eats after nodding that it's a problem. Uh, well, wait, okay, wait, so, like, so, am I still gonna be cooking? <laughs> am I still cooking all the western food even though she's gonna spill the beans? Ellipses. No. I have to come up with some countermeasure real soon or I'll really lose my position. Lose your position? Which position? As man of the household? Your position of females being thrust into their gender roles? And them liking that they're thrust into those roles. Breakfast ends and it's now 7.30. 7.30? It's rare, but Fujine is still at the house and suggests with a smile that we should go to school together. Interesting. Oh no, is this because you're trying to plan some big embarrassment, some big way to embarrass Ayako? Dash, shish, 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 shish. But I can't do that. Yamate, yeah. The decision last night. Oh, what, to train? As long as I said I would fight without relying on Saber, I can't be so easygoing. Okay, alright, yeah, so you gotta start skipping school to train. So, so, well, 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 what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the 411? Oh, shoot. What's happening? Then let's go. Is the house locked up, Shiro? I, I mean, it is, but, you know, you could always go without me... You were supposed to go first anyway, so this is awkward. I was going to skip school. Um, I mean, I'm sick. Cough. <clears throat> You're going to have to go. Oh, wait. No, I can't pretend to be sick. Soccer could hear about that and decide to stay over because that's why she ended up staying over in the first place. Well, it wasn't because I was sick, I don't think. It was because I injured myself, but, you know, same difference. It's just a, an emotional injury versus... No. A mental... 
No, it is, it's still, you could call being sick still a physical in injury, so. Oh shoot, we're having a, seek, a cheeky fight in chat now. People are fighting about some character don't even know about, gosh. Stay on target, stay on target, chat. Let's go. Is the house locked up, Shiro? No, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna skip school today. Did you really get say that so straightforwardly? Are you that blunt? You can't even try lying a little bit. Uh, I guess to be fair, if you don't have a lie prepared, that's the best thing to say. Um, I suppose. But I mean like... I don't know. Uh, you should have thought in... Uh, Shiro thinking in advance, right? Of course Shiro never thinks in advance, but... He should have, you know, come up with some cockamamie reason he can't come beyond just, I'm skipping school. What about, do you have a reason to skip school? Can you tell, you need to have a fake reason, right? Beyond just, I'm gonna skip because I feel like it? Because Fuji, as your guardian, shouldn't allow that. I raise my hand and, <laughs> and goodbye and see Tosaka and Fujine off. Fujine freezes for a few seconds and... What do you mean you're skipping school? <laughs> uh, yeah, Shiro, I got hit in the head mentally. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I can stay home. <laughs> uh, that's my excuse. That's why I need to stay home. My, my, my mental capacities haven't been working right for the last couple of days. Huh? What? Yeah, even Ren's freaked out because she probably didn't think he'd be nearly this blunt about it. It's way too straightforward. Need some kind of better excuse. Seems Tosaka said something uh, Fujine wanted to say. <laughs> That's right, Shiro. There, there's nothing wrong with you uh, to, to make you skip school, right? You're not sick? <laughs> nope. Uh, if he was sick, then Fuji would probably have someone make... Well, no, because Saber could always look after me. We've, we've been over this. Saber is my protector. So you don't have to worry about it, Fuji. So I should have just faked being sick. I don't know. Maybe Shiro's not smart enough to fake being sick or know how to. Um, no, my wounds hurt. Oh, my wound hurts. Old wounds hurt when the temperature goes down, right? It's kind of like that. Your wound? Which wound? What wound are we talking about? The scars from the fire? Do you mean like fire scars? I got hit by a big fucking rock and I've been acting real dumb these last few days. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. Berserker's big dumb rock. <laughs> uh, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not giving anything away, but technically they're a witness at that point. They just don't know what they're a witness to. That's a lie, right, Shiro? Okay, they're both changing their expressions at the same time. I don't know who's talking. Ah! Ah! I mean, does it matter? He got a scar on his shoulder from work? Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. That's That builds character. It's a lie, but let me go with it. It's not that I don't want to go to school. I have something I have to do, and it's just that it's more important right now, so please let me go. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Are you being that blunt? Yes, it's a lie. You're right. You caught me. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to go to school. I have something to do. You're going to be... I mean, Rin won't care, but like... Come on. <laughs> you can't tell them? You can't even tell them what it is? Fuji's going to want to know what it is. Come on. Come up with some cockamamie lie. Like, oh, my new favorite video game's coming out and I want to play it on day one. Or... Oh, my new, the, a new anime that's a sequel to my favorite anime is coming out. And I want to catch the first episode live. Or, or this guy that I really enjoy on the internet, live stream sometime. His name is uh, Renegade67. And I like his stuff, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch him very much recently. And he's starting a new series. It's called Doki Doki Literature Club. It's happening this coming Wednesday. And so, and wait, this is Wednesday is what I mean to say. And so I want to watch it. So, like, can I skip school this one day so I can watch his first stream, please? Ugh. Taiga is a nice big sis, which is unfortunate in this circumstance. It's getting in the way. Which is why we also need to get her out of here, because this same problem would have occurred. I knew this problem was going to occur, and they didn't manage to get her out of here. Ah! Share watching, playing anime already games. Who are you, and what have you done with my boy? That's right, he's all about the mechanics. You're right. He's all about the mechanics. It's just mechanics. So we should say, oh, my new, um, my, my new, the, a new Wrench 2000 came out. Or, I found a new thing broken outside of the thing. 
He needs to go find something and break. He has to go break something random, something complicated, leave it outside, pull it into the garage, and show Taiga and be like, oh, I found this on the side of the street. It's like really good condition, but it's super broken. It's complicated, and it got my mechanic juices flowing, and I have to fix it. I have to fix it or I won't be sane. So I've got to skip school. You know, that's a decent excuse, right? Come on, Shiro, think of something. そんな言い方されたら私の負けじゃない。シロウが事情を話さないときっていつもそうなんだもん。昔からそうだよね。Jeez, <sighs> I lose if you have to put it like that. You're always like this. Uh, you're always like this when you can't tell me about things. You were like that as a child. Huh? I want to fix a car. Let me stay home. Just don't hotwire it. <laughs> Are you really, really? You're just gonna let it slide like that? Are you not about to freak out? I, I'm starting to learn Taiga's shtick, where she's okay with things and then freaks out. So she might be about to freak out. Because if she really accepts it just that easily, I'd be very surprised. You're always like this when you can't tell me about things? I mean... Sometimes it's better not to give excuses at all. You know... Like... Man... But like... Just skipping school randomly? What? Nandeska! But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's be blunt. It can't be just one day. Uh, oh, you think Taiga is like, oh, fuck, this is serious enough for Shiro isn't even bothering to lie. <laughs> I mean, Shiro's a... Shiro did try to lie, though, and just immediately admitted he's a lie because he's a bad liar. I guess that's fair. If you're a bad liar, then maybe you should, you know, not lie about things and just tell the truth. But, like, she lets people skip as a teacher. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. But, like, here's the thing. He can't be skipping just one day. He needs hardcore training. He's not going to get everything in just one day. He's going to need to skip school multiple days. He's g He can't keep saying, oh, can I skip school today? Every day. If he's going to do that, at the very least, he needs to tell her in advance, hey, can I skip school all week this week? Which is going to be extremely sketchy to people, you know, other potential masters at school or something. But, but also, would Fuji even allow that? Like, uh, for an entire week? That's a big deal. One day she might let it slide. But, like... Shiro needs to train more than just one day, is what I'm saying. So this is not a valid long-term solution. It seems Fujine understands, even though she's complaining. Really? So she's not going to freak out at all? Maybe she's sick of the freaking out. She already freaked out with Rin and freaked out with Saber, and I won both of those battles. So she's just done freaking out? <laughs> wow. Third time is the reverse charm. Hardcore tra trained to become a wizard? You mean a wizard? You're a hairy wizard! So that's that. I'll leave the school to you, Tosaka. So, まあ、エミヤ君がいようがいなかろうが、こっちには必要はないし。確かに悪くない選択よ、それ。I see. Well, it doesn't matter for me if Emiya-kun comes or not. After all, the only thing I'm caring about is not Emiya-kun coming, but Shiro coming. And obviously, Shiro's gonna be the one who's 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 gonna be the one this isn't a bad choice. So I guess what? Saber trains me during the day. When do you train me exactly? Because you have to train me without Fuji seeing. So when's that gonna happen? This is still problematic. Yeah, leave the house to me. I'll skip work for a while too, so I won't leave the house much. Now Rin can investigate the school without bothering um, to bodyguard Shinji. <laughs> I mean... That's fair, but she was already doing that. That's the problem. She was already doing that. She was already investigating the school and sort of not bothering with Shiro, which is how we ended up in the Shinji position. How he ended up going to Shinji's house. And she also isn't bothered bothering bodyguarding him as he walks home. And yet nothing bad has happened. And sh Come on, narrative. Punish Shiro for not having anything. <clears throat> Shiro, hurry up and die for being stupid. Just please die. Please die because of one of your stupid decisions. Please, hurry up. I need this. I need this. Uh, and um, you'll skip work for a while too. Oh, that's also super suspicious. Okay, let's hope nobody at work like Neko-chan is a master. Okay. All right, then I'll be off, Shiro. You're absent. You're absent from school because of an injury, so don't leave the house much. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna leave the house. I'm gonna stay in the house for the sword training. But also, you you just said a lie. 
I said myself that it's a lie that my injury is the reason I'm... But you're... <laughs> I mean... I mean, yeah, you're absent from- Shiro has made plenty of dumb decisions without me making a choice for him that's dumb, okay? I want one of his dumb decisions that I'm not in control of to lead to a death. I don't know. God. Anyways. You're absent from school because of an injury, so don't leave the house much. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, yes, she is covering for me. Taiga is covering for me. You're not wrong. But, like, the fact that she- She- I Like, to me- Taiga, you know, she's a blunt person, so I'm surprised- I'm just surprised she's wording it like this. Like, the fact that she's saying- Instead of saying, well, you're supposed to- Well, the, your excuse is gonna be that you're absent from school because of an injury, so don't leave the house much. Instead, she's saying you're absent from school because of an injury. Like, she's not even saying- uh, Her wording surprises me. I didn't think she'd word it like that. That's all. It's the little things, okay? They add up. So, <laughs> See you. It's fine this time, but ask me about things like this beforehand next time. Haha, <laughs> Shiro asking and, and doing things beforehand, thinking beforehand. Shiro does not think beforehand. Although, to be fair, Rin, it fucking goes both ways, you know? Like, you know, how you knew about Sakura, but told me nothing about Sako or how you treat her beforehand. It goes both ways. Hypocrite. Of course, you never think about your own faults. You only worry about other people's faults. She's not fine with girls and people trying to replace his position. Uh-huh. Uh, she's not fine with girls trying to, you know, she's not fine with Saber trying to posi replace um, uh, her position as Guardian. She's also not fine as Rin staying over in the chance that something giggity happens because she takes her position as Guardian seriously. But, you know, letting Shiro skip school, who cares? Because she, she's so casual like that. She's probably the type that skipped school a bunch in her youth. <clears throat> If Shiro himself needs or does something, she goes full, cool big sis is going to do everything for you. Uh, she's also very casual. Alright, and they left. Well, I should at least wash the floor. I'm sorry, what? What are you wasting time doing instead of training with the sword? What are you wasting time doing instead of training with the sword? Repeating things for emphasis? Repeating things for emphasis? I already told Saber to come here in a little while. Why a little while? What are you waiting for? They're gone! Start! I always do the minimum cleaning necessary, but it's been a few years since I last had a contest with someone. I mean, okay, but like, heh, heh, clean when they're still around. Clean the, don't, when they're still, when Fuji is still here and you can't be doing this because you can't get Fuji involved, that's when you clean. Don't clean when she's not here. Don't waste precious not here time. Spend the not here time on the important thing. Ah! Fuck your respect, wise fool. It's about practicality. It's about taking advantage of the time that you have. We are not here to learn how to wash cars and floors. We're here to learn how to sword fight so we can fight in place of Saber. Like, that'll get very far, but at least if we're gonna try, we need enough time so as to not waste time washing the floor! <clears throat> Sumimasen. It'd be impolite to do the dojo and Saber to do... Oh, to the... <laughs> To do the dojo. It'd be impolite to the dojo and Saber if I don't at least clean the floor. <laughs> Saber, please. No, sorry. Shiro, please. Both of you, please. <laughs> Press F to play or pay respects to my sanity. I mean, every time Shiro does anything now. Thinking a Japanese teenage boy who has a gender bias himself would not focus on tradition and respect. Come on, Shiro. Just once in your life. Fuck the respect. Do the practical thing just once. Just once. Ah! I'm begging you. But man, I wonder what she'll make me do. I fought Kiritsugu a few times with Shinai, but neither of us considered... Uh, I fought... You know, nope. I fought Kiritsugu a few times with Shinai, uh, but neither of us... I'm learning to say the proper she, because... Like, I've been, I've been saying she all wrong. I mean, you know, because there's she, and then there's she, she. There's like she. There's she, and then there's she. And it's not she, it's she. And I'm learning better to say the she. To say the she correctly. Because you got to remember that she 
isn't it's not sa shi su se so it's still sa si su se so it's just the way it's sa si sa si sa si it's 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 weird and I'm learning and I realized that I was saying it wrong but anyways that's not important <clears throat> I mean it's important to me but um neither of us considered form and it was more like amateurs beating each other up I mean that makes sense because Kiritsugu was never a sword person he was more of a gun person don't worry Shiro is a cleaning expert it won't take long. That sounds like a joke about revert. That sounds so dumb. It's like, it's like, that sounds so dumb. Because Shiro is, is big sexist and wants women to be in their proper gender roles. But he does the women thing. He cooks. He cleans. He is the woman. And yet wants women to be in the women gender roles. It's like, it's, it's weird. It's like he doesn't realize that he's not in the male gender role. He wants to be the protector, but it's hard to, you know, spend time learning to protect and actually protect if you're wasting so much time doing the woman thing that is to say cleaning. That's the problem. Shiro doesn't realize that he's, what's the term, Tom girl? I forget. Because, like, he's, because Tom boy is when you're a girl that does boy -y things. But what's it called when you're a boy that does girly things? I for, I don't know what the term is, but he's like that and doesn't realize it. He thinks of himself as a manly man, but because of how he was brought up, I would assume, he does do some of the girly things and yet still wants girls to fall into the gender roles, and yet it's different gender roles. It's instinct for him to clean shit. He cleans his blood after being impaled by a spear. <laughs> he's very much a cleaner. It's interesting. It's like, it's, it's interesting because he, he's, he, 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 yeah, he puts them into the gender roles and yet he still himself is a little messed up with the gender roles. It shows some interesting psychological issues, which is interesting for sure. But, um, I mean, I, how many times say interesting in that one, you know, paragraph, it was more like amateurs beating uh, each other up. More like probably Kiritsu beating you up more often than not. I never intended to take Kendo seriously, and I was only taught what to do if an opponent had a long weapon. Haha, <laughs> that's funny, because Lancer. Anyway, I wasn't good at using things to, to fight. I'm only interested in making and fixing. Well, you know, in the past, but now you have to be interested in fighting, because you're going to be fighting in place of Saber. So, man up and learn to fight. Stop cleaning. That's the woman thing. You're the one who's so big on gender roles. In that regard, this is the first time I'll be seriously studying swordsmanship. It seems Saber's style is different from Kendo, but it should have some similarities and it shouldn't be so confusing that I can't follow it. Uh-huh, because Kendo is more of a Japanese thing, but so is... Uh, Samurai is a bit different than Kendo, but yeah. Um, her, the way she fights is more knightly. Uh, environmental issues. I mean, well, yeah, where you, how you grow up, who your parents are, it's always going to determine some biases in who you are. That's why cultures tend to be so distinct is because you grow up based on the values your, your parents had and your parents might have had values that are similar to the values of the people around you because if they weren't, there would have been infighting, which is, you know, where different, you know, value dissonance comes from. That's the trope name, by the way, TV tropes, values dissonance. It's where, you know, people in the Western may look at a media and be like, hey, that's progressive because it does this and that. And then people in Japan may be like, just seems stupid. And reverse can happen too. Values. I hear the door. Okay, did you finish your speed cleaning? Sonic cleaning. Sonic cleaning. Sonic, you know, people with sonic speed would probably be great at cleaning. Then again, you can't just, um, you can't move, if you, if you have to actually be good at thorough cleaning, to be fair, some cleaning is probably monotonous. It depends. Are you, like, do you physically move fast or do you, like, slow down time? If you slow down time and only appear to move fast, that's optimal for cleaning at a fast rate. Um, maybe Shiro himself wanted and liked to clean and cook, but Kiritsugu imposed his sexist benefits onto him, and that confused the fuck out of his, uh, uh, him growing up, I could see that, because Kiritsugu, it's different sexism, Shiro has different sexism than Kiritsugu, but I guess the core of the sexism could have came from Kiritsugu, where in the past, in his past life, before the fire, 
before the Fire Nation attacked, maybe he was um, going to be more of a, more of a proper adult that was more you know more nuanced, a mix between boy and girl. And then everything changed when the Kiritsugu Nation attacked. I hear the door. Saber must have arrived on time. Uh, on time, so she's five minutes early. For something like this, if she's not five minutes on early, she, if she's not five minutes early, she ain't five minutes on time. I mean, what? You know, you get what I said. That's good, as I just finished cleaning too. Sorry to keep you, uh, sorry to keep you waiting. I'll be, nope. Reverse it. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll be learning here starting today. Wait, who, wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's happening? Sorry to keep you waiting, but she's the one who showed up. Sorry to keep you waiting because she finished cleaning? Who's keeping who waiting? She's the one who showed up. So what do you mean learning? Is someone that I don't think is talking talking? Who's, what's happening? No, it is Saber. What is it, Shiro? You look like you're surprised at something. I'm surprised at what Shiro is surprised at. Yes, he's cleaning, but he didn't keep her waiting. Oh, keep her waiting by setting the time late. That's right, he did keep her waiting. He he played himself, because he needs to, you know, freaking try. Oh, okay, so that's how he kept her waiting. It's weird, though. Saber is learning to clean. Oh, now it makes sense. She's learning her proper place in the women gender role. <gasps> but she's learning it for Shiro, because she sort of kind of wants to be his waifu now. Um, uh, I freaking, I, I have a weird mindset when it comes to cleaning. I'm one of those people that you may look at my room and think, this is the messiest room I've seen in my life, but I know where everything goes. I know the place for everything. If you told me to clean it up, if you cleaned it up without my say so, and I came to my room, I would have no idea where anything is. I wouldn't be able to find things. I would be yelling at you. Hey, where did my things go? Cause that's the thing. I am. My organization is awkward. I tend to organize things in weird ways that to the outside observer will look unclean, but they're clean to me. I know where things go. And so the traditional idea of, oh, we need to make sure nothing clutters the floor. We need to make sure nothing does that. I don't really subscribe to that. I think as long as I know where things go, and I don't care if I have people over and, and see things and it, they think it looks gross. I'll just be like, well, you know what? If you don't like the way I do things, then I guess you don't. Yeah, uh, messy organizationalist. That's me too then, yeah. Then I guess you just don't like me because I am all of me. You know, like Shadow the Hedgehog says in the game where he was kind of out of character. He was also too many me's because he had all of the moral endings and yet they were all required to get the true ending. So, which defeated the purpose of all the moral choices. Sorry, Tangent, Sonic Games, or do, if you even count that as a Sonic game, Shadow Games, Shadow Game, singular, there's only been one, when, is, when do we get Shadow the Hedgehog 2, the, the Silver Ring, the Silver Surfer, oh, that's, that's topical, no, that's not topical, that's not the word, that's, that's funny, no, that's, okay, it's funny because the second Fantastic Four movie had Silver Surfer, therefore, by saying silver in the, the something called 2, makes it a funny joke. I did it. I explained it. It has ceased being funny because I've now explained it. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, like you, if you don't take a shower every day? Well, actually, fun fact about that is, uh, uh, you know, the, apparently scientists, researchers, uh, fan four stick. No, that's the different one. That's, that's the third Fantastic Four, the reboot. I'm talking about the second one. But, um... Uh, the whole thing about showers is that they do say, actually, there is a certain point where you can potentially be showering too much, especially if you don't do enough working out. And so showering every day may actually not be the best thing. It depends It depends on your schedule, how much exercise you get, how often you sweat. Um, so, like, it's it sometimes, depending on your lifestyle, every other day may actually be better. It also depends on how long your showers are. Like, if you can do, if you do really quick, like, 10-minute showers, then every day is probably fine. But if you're doing like long half an hour showers, you probably shouldn't be showering every day. You're probably doing it too much and killing certain skin cells. But anyways, I'm surprised because you're still in those clothes. I thought you'd be in the other outfit. We're training with swords and my image of saber fighting is in that armor. So I self imagined that. Oh, 
I mean, you know, she can still fight like that. If anything, it's more fair. Because if I use her the sword and hit her armor, you know, it's not going to do any real damage ever. And so the only way to test if it's ever going to do damage is if she doesn't wear armor. Which doesn't, you know, bode well for Shiro because he's never going to do real damage to a servant with armor most likely. But, you know, there's always Ryder and Caster, maybe Assassin, the ones that lack the armor. Um, Berserker, you never, you're never harming Berserker, but anyways. I see, if you wish for me to be armed, I can be. You are correct, I was not thinking. Aw, oh, you liked wearing this because it made you feel more casual. This is your connection to Shiro. This is your version, right? Like how Rin feels more personal with Shiro when she calls Shiro Shiro as opposed to Emiakun. You feel more personal to the, the, this world you've been summoned into that Shiro wants you to be a part of by wearing these clothes that we still don't know where you got them from. We never got that explanation because I chose not to choose that choice. I'm starting to get really itchy. I want to go back and choose that. I, like, th that's the one thing I may do before this. Uh, at the very least, um, if I don't go back and do it during the course of the pathway, as soon as we get unending, like some kind of ending, that's the first thing I'm going to go back and choose the other one. I want to know why you're wearing those fucking clothes. Uh, I think Saber just want to beat the fear of death into him. Uh, that's not exactly where I was going with that, but okay. Bazaka. I was not thinking. Even though it's only a match, it's impossible. Uh, it's impolite. Impossible? It's impolite to Shiro not to wear my armor. I'm sorry. I'll change right away. Okay. Uh, no change in the timelines, Renegade. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why I'm saving all the save points, though. Well, I mean, for in case there's a choice I really want to see... And also, in case I accidentally lead myself into death, there's that too. But, you know, that's one of them. When I, As soon as I get to the end, that's the first thing I want to know. Where do those fucking clothes come from? Anyways, oh no, that's not it. Uh, it's fine. It was just a misunderstanding. If you ask me, I prefer this outfit to the armor. That's probably why she was wearing it in the first place. Because she is suspected that, you know, she relates this to the outside world that you want her to be a part of and that she wants to be a part of, and therefore wore it. And you liking it, it makes sense. After all, this is her in her persona, that you personify her as being a girl and not as being a servant. When she wears the armor, she is servant saber, not girl saber. And she herself sort of wants to be girl saber somewhat because she's starting to like you. And being servant saber is a bit lacking. However, in this particular case, you're training sword fights, so you can just be servant saber, it's fine. Or not. Pe so na. Huh? But this appearance does not satisfy you, right? I, I mean, it, no, it does. Sat wait, what? Who sa satisfy in what way? Sexually, or 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 thematically, or or fight fightily. Uh, satisfy. Well, it certainly doesn't look like we're going to be having a match now, but it shouldn't be a problem if that's easy to move in. If that's easy to move in, emphasis. I am putting emphasis on the wrong words. You get tired if you wear that armor. If you wear that armor. As opposed to, you know, your other armor that you bust out every now and then. I still don't speak stars, you know, Hanyu. I've, I'm, I'm brushing a bit up more on my Japanese, but stars are still not my vocabulary. I apologize. That is true, but... Dash, dash, dash. Is it not strange for me to use a sword with this appearance? I mean, I don't know. You choose. It looks good on you. There's nothing strange about it. <gasps> I just complimented her. How's she gonna react? Is she gonna? Is her heart gonna go a flutter? Is it gonna go doki doki? Doki doki means heartbeat. I think you look better in that than armor. What? <laughs> I mean, I think that was the idea, but you know, going to say that right on your face. Stars, you know, stars. You said stars. Am I crazy? Yes, stars. You were speaking in stars. Renegade Probs has a filter turned on. I'm sorry, what? I have a filter? I don't have a filter. Since when do I have a filter? What did you actually say? I'm confused. Okay, now you're messing with me. What did you actually say so I can understand what these stars are? What was the actual words that came out of your mouth? But say it in a way that won't get starred. Well, anyways, while I'm waiting for you to say what you were actually saying, um, yeah, you've been seeing a lot of things in stars when people are swearing. 
Oh, really? See, oh, I see stars there. Oh, it's, you know what it probably is? It's probably because of my alt account. My alt account, um, I don't have it, I, uh, that's probably what's doing it. My alt account probably has settings turned into a certain way, and that's what's doing it, and why the stars are showing up. Okay, now I understand the confusion. That's where the star speak comes from. Everything is making sense, that's okay. Whenever you, whenever you do stars now, I'll imagine the worst swear possible. Okay, don't worry about me. I'll see the stars, and I'll know that you're saying something dirty. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, unless Twitch itself is doing it. Maybe this chat has something on. Shrugs. I'll have to look into that. It might be a new change Twitch made. Or, oh, so you're seeing stars too. Okay, lots of stars are showing up. I may have to look in to see if that's a my chat thing. Or if that's like a, must be the word starting with an S and finishing with X. Um, okay, I, I, okay, so something's going on. I legit thought you knew this and we're joking this whole time. No, no, I've been seeing stars, man. I've been having to, I've been having to decipher your star language. Your weird star language that I don't speak. I learned hiragana, katakana, kanji. I did not learn the fourth, the fourth, the fourth character system of the Japanese language. I'm sorry. I apologize. I have to do more studying. I have to learn the intricacies, what each star means. Maybe I'll, maybe, you know what? Going forward, I will pretend that I, that I do know. And that it is all a big joke. That I do know what your stars are saying. I'll just imagine it's something extremely sexual every time, okay? Is that, is that, is that acceptable? Stars now mean sex. Even if they don't, they do now. Patrick Starfish. Okay, I think you look better in that than the armor. So how about if you look better in that when you wear less clothes than the armor, you probably look even better when you take all your clothes back off and look naked. I'm sorry, what? Um, you have explicit language. What? No, I can see filtered. No, come on. Hold on. Chat filters. Enable filtering in chat. Select the filters. Um... First is sexual, explicit, uh, hostility, profanity. Okay, I may have to look into this after the stream. Um, or just at the tail end of it. You know what, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this right now. Just at the tail end of the stream, I'll, I'll look into this. I don't wanna sidetrack myself right now. Cause I wanna fix myself. And I wanna make sure I can see what you're saying. So I don't get freaking stars. Anyways. I fail to understand. These clothes are certainly light, but they would not be able to withstand a fight. I believe this outfit is unsuitable for a saber. Well, okay, but I mean, what outfit do you think I'm gonna be wearing? Don't fight in that outfit, stupid. You're a girl, and those clothes shoot girls, so it's... Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Don't fight in that outfit, first of all. Stupid! You're a girl! First of all, rude. Shouldn't matter what gender she is. And those clothes suit girls, so it's fine. Wait. Those clothes suit girls. So you should wear them. But don't fight in them. Wait. She said it's unsuitable. But you're both agreeing and disagreeing. Shiro, I think you need to sort out your own mental algorithm. You clearly are crossing streams right now and don't know how to uncross them. Oh god, that's the first time I've seen that. Well... I put the rag I was using into the bucket and take two sheen eyes down from the wall. So what kind of training should we be doing? I'll let you decide, so can you give me anything? I toss a sheen eye to Saber. Okay! That's, I mean, I think we've been seeing blushes so far, but that's like a blush on the nose. A nose on the blush. Ghost bush blushers. Saber catches the sheen eye as if she's distracted and looks at me. Oh my gosh! Rin, I think, understands that she somewhat likes me and understands how to control human emotions and understands the whole thing of wanting a boy and therefore isn't too distracted by the duality of maybe wanting Shiro's penis. However, Saber is not used to the duality and therefore the act of wanting the penis of the boy is very odd. Nope, doesn't look like a bush to me, you know, Hanyu. I think this is the thing that's not a bush. Fight me! The other things are blushes. The other things are also blushes. This is just... An extreme blush. Fight me. Saber catches the sheen eyes if she's distracted and looks at me. What? We can't use sheen eye? Don't tell me to use solid wood swords. No, real swords. 
What a Spartan! That's well beyond what I expected! Uh, no, there's no need for that. <laughs> Spartan? Uh, since these are excellent imitation swords for matches, let us, let us use them. Sabo wants red. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Red-haired red penis. I see. You made a thing, but you worded it wrong, so it looked weird. I now understand the reference. At least it wasn't in stars. Gosh, stars are my new worst enemy. I hate stars, right? I much prefer, you know, the guys that are indie. That don't, you know, think of themselves as all that and stuff. Saber takes a deep breath quietly. And she's back to her usual self. Thank God, it's too dangerous to fight with solid wood stars. I mean, wood swords! God, stars are getting to my vocabulary now. I'm going to turn the voices on because they might do some fancy fighting. Eh. And... Eh. What do you want to do really? First, I'm going to go to the 500th or the 500th. I'm going to go to the 500th. I'm going to go to the 500th. So, what should I do? Will we start with strength building exercises like swinging the sword 500 times or running? Or how about um, wax on, wax off, or that kind of thing? Or maybe just an actual sword fight, you know? And also, usually those routines only work if you don't know, well, that's not true. Routines like that to build, you know, your general muscles and stuff and, and build your capacity for fighting, like stuff like that is, the foundation is good, but is very time consuming and not something you can do all in one day. And so if we're just skipping one day, if you want the crash course and you want it jammed all into one package, you really shouldn't be wasting time with basic exercises like that and just, you know, get straight to the point and learn how to assassinate people, despite not being an assassin. Exactly. We can't hot pass several days all at once, you know, Hanyu. Training montage, sacre bleu. We've been going so slow to go so fast all of a sudden, would just be inc inc incroyable, or whatever the French word of incredible is. I don't know why I pick picked French. Whatever the Japanese word. Uh, sugoi! That works. I do not think there's any need for that. Even from what I've seen, your strength is up to standards. Uh, I mean, I personally, I think you could do to have it a little bit stronger, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's true. If you wish to train your body even more, that would not be possible in a day or two. Exactly what I said. She was already fit for a human, so strength training will do jack shit. I don't agree. I think strength training would t still help him a lot. I just think it's a waste of time for the fact that we're skipping a day. We should be doing something important today, not strength training, which you can just do whenever, all the time. And I feel like you've been doing to some extent anyways. And if you want to do more, do more in your own time. Not, don't waste Saber's time. You're... <laughs> oh. Incroyable is the correct French word. Oh, wow, really? Okay, Incredibles taught me something. <laughs> oh. You were unsca- and I still remember it. All these days I remember the beginning scenes of the first Incredibles of Incroyable! Mr. Incroyable! Anyways, um, you are unskilled as a magus, but, uh, but I do not think you are bad as a warrior. And she probably likes that about Shiro, because she herself is probably not the greatest with magic and is better as a warrior. You must have changed hard from a young age. Well, I mean, sure, he's kind of okay, but he's not servant level. He needs to be like Olympic athlete level Shiro. You know, if he really wants to do the things he's saying he wants to do. That or he needs to learn hardcore assassination techniques. Duh, well, it was the only thing I was good at. You can train your body if you don't have talent as a magus. That must be good fortune. The result of your effort was not dying. Was not dying when Lancer attacked you. The result... N no. 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 Look, Missy. He let me live because he was toying with me for most of that. Because he was having fun with it. If he really tried, I'd be dead. But sure, whatever. Fine. He did okay, maybe. He would first have to fuse with Shinji. Exactly. If he fuses with Shinji, then he can be decently strong. 
But yeah, no, seriously, Archer should teach him some archery. He's supposed to be a good archer. When is the archery teaching happening? That's the most important thing. I don't think that's true, Wise. Saying that Lancer wouldn't have toyed with Shiro if he wasn't fit at all. I don't think that's true in the slightest. I think that um, it's because of Shiro picking up a weapon and trying to fight is what amused Lancer. Lancer was amused by the act of Shiro, a master, trying to fight a servant. Because he thought the whole idea was rather silly. And also, he didn't even know Shiro was a, a master at the time. He thought Shiro was a nobody. And when he saw Shiro using magic, when he thought he was a nobody, Lancer was rather amused by the strengthening magic. And so he gave him a shot and saw what he could do. I don't think Shiro... Um, the I don't think Shiro... Even Shiro dodging out of the way of Lancer's instant attack technique, I don't think is at all what Lin led Lancer to playing easy on him. You can think that if you want, but that's not at all the read I got. Uh, I personally think it wasn't really part of the equation. I just think Lancer likes toying with people. And I think when he thinks there's joy to be found, and when he saw that Shiro had some amount of magic, which Lancer wasn't expecting, he's like, ooh, this could be fun. And it was disappointed when it did not seem that fun at all. I don't think Shiro being somewhat fit really helped him much at all. And maybe a little bit, but not much. Um, he may have not survived if, if he wasn't, you know, fit to some degree, but I don't think it would have made a big difference. It's not something that you can rely on. Humans have limits. Your body is a long way from those limits, and it'll be difficult to overcome them anyway. I mean, but you should still try to get to those limits, ish. Sorry, I just saw Shiro Bruce Wayne. I had to chuckle because, I mean, that wouldn't require a decent amount of intelligence, so. The only thing I'll be teaching you is fighting. What do you mean, just fighting? From the way you said it, it doesn't sound like you'll be teaching me how to fight. I mean, to be fair, learning fighting is more important than learning how to fight. As Kiritsugu would say, Bruce Wayne without any money, and Bruce Wayne without any intelligence. So he's not Bruce Wayne. I don't understand. What's the analogy? Of course not. Battle techniques cannot be acquired overnight. The only thing I can do is have my master experience as many battles as possible. Um, do you think Brucey would be smart enough without his top-tier education? I, I mean, I... Yes. That's all I can say is yes. I think if he didn't have top tier education, I think he that just would that would only affect his that would only affect his you know his in his like history roles and religion roles it, to speak D and D terms. He might not be very well learned, but I think he would still have good senses about him. If I'm being honest, I think Bruce that part of Bruce it, he might not know as many things, but he would still know how to know things. He's still smart, I think. I don't think, even if he didn't have his top tier education, as long as he had the regular expected education, which Shiro gets, I believe Bruce would be pretty darn smart. Smarter than Shiro, at least. He may not know as many things, but that's different. Um, in my opinion, that... Because you can have kids that do have top tier education yet end up being stupid anyways. It's about... I don't think it's necessarily all based on, you know, the teaching so much as it is the person sometimes. Anyways... Of course not. Battle techniques cannot be acquired overnight. The only thing I can do is have my master experience as many battles as possible. Sounds good. Sometimes you just gotta learn by doing and looking. Uh, in the first place, I am not good at teaching, so it would only be troubling if you asked for my guidance. Uh-huh. I, I can relate, actually. I'm pretty much not good at teaching things either, yeah, even that I'm good at. So it's basically just, hey, you want to learn from me? Watch what I do and do it too, because I'm, I'm a bad teacher. And I can respect that. And she's at least trying to teach despite admitting she's a bad teacher. That's, um, that's higher than what I would do for myself. Then again, you're doing it for a boy you like. I don't know, would I do that for a girl I like? Maybe. 
<laughs> Wise. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. If I mean, hey, man, I could tension all day. Let's just do a whole faith stream where we're never once on topic. We'll do a whole faith stream where we start on a line of dialogue and never leave the line of, di line of dialogue. It'll be great. It'll be great. I joke, but um, what if it actually happens at some point? <gasps> In the first place, I'm not good at teaching, so it would only be troubling if you asked for my guidance. Moshi Moshi? Um, hello? Moshi Moshi? That's what you normally say to someone when starting a phone conversation. Why are you saying that? You think that she's not all here? Renegade, I love that idea. Do you really? Do you really? Don't you want some progress? Maybe I can make like a casual Saturday stream where we say it's fate, but we just go on the fate screen and just talk about whatever and don't actually play it. It'd be so mean. Let's not do that. Probably come to your house and kill you if a stream like that. <laughs> That's rude, man. Don't th fake threats like that. Okay, look, man, I get that it's a joke, but like that those words are big and can be misinterpreted. That's, you're the moderator, you're supposed to mod the laws. And that's a meanie mean thing to say. Don't be a meanie mean. Uh, hello? When she says that so proudly, as a student, I don't know how to reply. Uh, so in short, we're just gonna fight. Oh, jeez. Yes, that's it, master. Okay, and she has her... All right, we got the little thing in the bottom part of the screen, okay. No stopping our hits, and let us fight as if trying to kill each other. Uh, no, you shouldn't, because then you would kill me. You're the law. What was giveth can be taketh away wise. Those mod powers, I mean, not with this account, because Ghost Muncher has no access to those powers. But I could quickly load up my Renegade account, and then I could take the mod powers away. You're letting your power get to your head, wise. No stopping our hits, and let us fight trying to kill each other. Uh, I can do that, you don't do that, please. So this me. An hour? I assumed it would only take like a minute. Let me see. I believe you'll understand what it's like in about an hour. Saber lightly grips the Shinai, ready to start. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Hajimeru yo. Um. Uh. Gambate. Kudasai. <laughs> Still not understanding, I follow Saber's example and grab the Shinai. Oh boy, sword practice, let's go. Don't worry, if I was going to do anything to you, I wouldn't say anything beforehand. That's even scarier. Wise, why do you make those kind of jokes? Please no. Now you really are being a wise fool of death. Ooh, the death is coming into play. As soon as I do, as soon as I do so. Ah, yup, that's, I mean, if she's really trying to kill... But with the Shinai, that's what would happen. The world turns upside down. Not the best teaching method, but I mean... As long as he doesn't fall unconscious for the whole hour. In short, Saber is only trying to teach me one thing. Block! The truth that no matter what I do, no matter what scheme I come up with, I cannot even beat, ever beat someone I have no chance against. Okay, so what? You need to actually learn to, to do something. If you don't learn to do something, then there's no point to any of this. So what are we doing? Ouch! This is broken, I'm sure. Hontoni! Oh, man. Um, I don't think he's correct. I don't think he's correct that that's what she's doing. I think she genuinely decided that she would teach me because because she likes me and respects me to some extent and respects the position that I'm in. And so she is going to try to teach me somewhat. Yes, she's still going to be the main fighter, I think, but me learning some things would be good. So I think, Shiro, this is just a classic example of the student not understanding the teacher's techniques and assuming the wrong thing. Uh, 
Well, I don't doubt that Saber is real bad at teaching, but like, I think Shiro is bad at learning. <laughs> Sorry, Shiro. <clears throat> you see, it's not just about the education you have. Bruce, I think, could still turn out pretty smart, even with a kind of a shitty education. Um, whereas Shiro, even though he's getting the better education, he just doesn't get it, man. He, he's, he's, he's failing the test. Yes, the test is really hard, but he's still failing it. Just because it's really hard doesn't mean you can't pass. It'd be more swollen if it were broken. It's a bad bruise, but it should heal quickly for you. I see. Alright, let's continue a bit more. Are we going to continue, Shiro? Okay. That confused look tells me Shiro's inner monologue was correct to some extent. Not entirely, maybe. Hmm, maybe Saber just thought that um, based on how things would, were going, Shiro would give up. Like, she wanted to see how things would go, but Shiro not giving up, hmm, hmm. Because if she really did go into this just to show Shiro that he's being a stupid, then that's kind of mean. I don't know. It Maybe, hmm. I could see this as being layered. This may be a layered thing where Saber at the moment said it thinking with her female penis, wanting to bone Shiro and wanting to please Shiro and liking Shiro to some extent. It's like, yeah, I'll train you. But between after sleeping and thinking on it, she's like, no, I can't train Shiro. All I'm gonna have to do is beat the shit out of him and convince him not to be trained. So I suppose that's possible. That would make more sense, I think. As opposed to her just thinking from the get-go. Oh, I see stars again. Wise fool, to give you an example, so her master doesn't... Stars saving her. So, now you know that I'm seeing stars. And I'm not, I'm not fucking... <laughs> Are you fucking? Is that why you're saying those words? Are we gonna continue, Shiro? It's indeed only a bruise, but it's not something you can move immediately. Okay, hold on a second. Let's save. Uh, on the crazy page four. Um, and I'm gonna say... Um, what those stars, man? Let me check. Save. We're not necessarily done yet, but I'm gonna check this real quick. If I go to here. Now hold on while I check something. Everybody hold the phone. Everybody hold the phone. If I do this, and I go to chat filters. Um, oh shit, that funky night. Who are we killing? No, don't, don't kill anybody. Nobody kills anybody. I see what's happening. The chat filters are turned on because it's because of my alt account, I think. So, all right. It's all of the things are being icy. I understand. Um, okay. So turn the chat filters off. Okay. The chat filters are now off. It's because it's my alt account. So now... So, now say the same thing you said before. Copy-paste the st your statement from earlier. So her master doesn't bleh saving her. Copy and paste it. <laughs> Killing the stars? Finally, Dead Funky Knight? Yeah, let's kill those stars. Fuck them, right? Copy and paste it. I want to see what you say. I want to see what comes up. I want to see if we've solved the star conundrum. Dancing with the stars. More like... Dance... Dancing without the stars. That's not... That's not a joke. That's not a joke. So her master doesn't kill himself, saving her. Kill himself is what you said. Okay, I understand. Now I can read stars, guys. I did it. I finally learned the fourth character set of Japanese. How to read stars. <laughs> it's kind of funny having them turned on as a running joke. You know what I might do going on just to fuck with people? I may randomly just say, that's stars. I don't understand your stars, even when I actually fully understand it. <laughs> to be a fucker? Maybe. Ugh. But anyways, I can read it now. I can see clearly now the stars have gone. So let's continue. Uh, it's not something you can move immediately. What are you saying when you're the one beating me mercilessly? Well, I mean, yeah, she thought you'd like give up. <laughs> you thought that was my joke? That I was just see, pretending? 
<laughs> nope. I was legitimately seeing stars because my alt account had the had the filter on by default because I wasn't turning it off because it's in a it's in an incognito window, so I don't have to actually log out of Renegade 67 when I log into my fake account. Well, it's not a fake account, but um, so I've. It, the chat filter is turned on by default, which makes sense. I just never bothered to turn it off and didn't realize that stars were a thing because of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, this will this will this will be a funny entry into my TV tropes page. Hashtag somebody make me a TV tropes page. All right, if you're not up to it, I'll take this. Opening. <gasps> oh shoot! It doesn't work, of course. Oh my god, that's what you were doing. Oh. Nice, Shiro, now that I'm paying attention. Nice! Also, rude, but nice! You're finally learning to fight like a Kiritsugu. You're learning to fight underhanded. That's the way. That's the only way you're going to get any edge on these servants. And it doesn't even work. Please listen to me. You're definitely fatigued. Training will be useless in such a state, so we should take a rest. Yeah, I mean, haven't you played D&D, man? The assassinate feature only works if you if it's like the start of combat. If combat's already go ongoing, then you need to roll like a regular critical hit, or you know, you just do doesn't it doesn't work, man. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't assassinate in the middle of combat. Hashtag rogue, rogue lives matter. Yeah, demo. It's shameful to be beaten so badly when you're going easy on me. It's also inevitable because she's a servant. What did you expect? She's over 9,000 times stronger than you. I have to at least make you raise a brow or something, or I'll be too vexed to collapse. <laughs> Freaking praying pose. <laughs> this is oh, this is some new looks on Saber we're seeing today. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Uh, if you ask for surprise, I'm already more than surprised. I thought you were stubborn, but I did not believe that it was to this extent. I guess this shows that she's opening up to us, because until now, re until recently, she was very much we only saw the one stone cold. I am your servant expression, don't worry about it. But now we're seeing more because she's more than just a servant. <gasps> Shiro invested all his stats into willpower and mechanics. Mechanics and willpower. He multiclassed from, he's a mechanic and a, he, oh, right, no, he put, he's a mechanic and he put a lot of his stats into constitution. He's got a high HP stat. He also has the berserker feat, the D&D &D berserker feat. No, not berserker, sorry. No, that is right. Berserk. No, wait. I'm getting it wrong. No, that's right. No, I'm wrong. No, that's right. The thing where you half damage when you're raging. Anyways. Mechanics and archery is his skill points. Mechanics, archery, and stubbornness. Oh, and sexism. He put some points in sexism. I did not believe it was to this extent. Sorry, I just hate losing. Uh, shame that it won't be this easy to not lose against real other servants. <laughs> That's also new. Yes, I understand well enough now. Anyway, we'll take a break, so please put down your Shinai. <laughs> Sexum is his character flaw he took for mechanics points. Oh, it's like, it's like the one Fire Emblem game where you choose your flaw and your boon. I see, so he took sexism as a flaw. But, like, he doesn't see it as a flaw, though, so, I mean, it's not a real flaw. Okay, so his char this character creation system is a bit interesting. You choose it as a flaw, but, like, you don't choose it as, like, a flaw in place of a benefit. You choose it... It's an interesting kind of flaw. Mm hmm this is an interesting uh, character builder system, whatever RPG game this is. This grail, this holy grail war of theirs. So please put down your Shinai. <laughs> Guess you have to clean it again. Oh, correct, correct. He had to take the sexism to get his cooking and cleaning points. It was a trade off. That makes sense. That's fair. I agree with that. The floor is slippery with sweat. <laughs> sweat, saber, sweat. Giggity. We're not um, uh, imitating a fight in an extreme situation. 
and it's meaningless to fight in such a fatigued condition. Yeah, don't want to go slipping and falling and getting your head smacked in because you didn't slash the right sweat in the right direction. The character itself wouldn't be aware of their sexism. If he was, it wouldn't be a flaw. That's not entirely true. That's not entirely true. It can still be a flaw even if he's aware of the sexism. In fact, especially if he's aware of it. If he's aware of the sexism, but keeps doing it because he thinks it's the correct thing, he really thinks that these things, and that he knows it's sexist, but it's like sexism is correct. I am cor like someone who thinks, yes, I am racist. Of course I'm racist. They deserve to be racist against. Like if you have that kind of mindset, that's the fucked up kind of mindset. That's still a flaw far as I'm concerned, although it depends on how you're, it depends on the character creation, because like, I mean, you know, anyways, it's meaningless to fight in such a fatigued condition. Why, battle practice usually assumes the worst situation, right? Then, I mean, I mean, sure, but that doesn't mean we want to actually want to practice in the worst situation. I mean, some people do learn that way, stubbornly, and I wouldn't be surprised sure with his main character powers does learn that way, in the thick of things. But I mean, up until now, that has not been the case. I mean, you didn't do the- you, you froze up with Lancer, kinda. Uh, you definitely froze up with Berserker. You've been not the best at reacting immediately to the sight of battle. That is even more meaningless. Exactly. No point in training in an environment that would never work out for you in the first place. You have to train under best conditions because that's the only way you'd ever succeed at beating a servant. If you're going to fight a servant, it'll be meaningless and you have f unless you have full power, the best ground, and an escape route, and backup, and a lot of other things to be honest. Sure did his strengthening thing right for the first time in a few years with his fight with Lancer. Okay, you're not wrong. He physically, his body responded, but mentally he did freeze up a little bit with Lancer, I remember. His physical and his mental aren't necessarily the same, just because his body knows what to do. Just because his body's like, hey idiot, you should work. That doesn't mean his idiot self realizes that he's an idiot, or something like that. You cannot even be a match to a servant unless everything is perfect. You have already made a mistake when you decide to fight a servant in poor condition. Exactly. And that's not the first mistake you've made, Shiro. The first one was deciding to fight a servant in the- at all! Uh, uh, I mean, that's the point of training, right? To have the body react without thinking in a real situation? Uh, there's two different ways of reacting. I mean... I mean, there is the whole thing of you want to be able to fight without thinking of what you're doing and to have what you're doing be good, but you also, before you even get to that step, you need to know what you're going to do usually. To fight purely on instinct without learning what the moves are is pretty uncommon. You generally need to learn the moves first and be smart enough to know the moves. And sometimes if you know the right moves, you never even need to learn to react in the first place. But also, in this situation, the reacting is never going to save him because he's never going to be able to react fast enough to deal with a servant, so... I think Saber is in the right here. So you mean never fight in this kind of situation no matter what? Yes, if you're in this situation, run the fuck away, Shiro! They say Shinji mustn't run away, but that's about Shinji, not Shiro. Your name is Shiro, not Shinji. That is correct. If that happens, no miracle will be able to save you, Shiro. Well, I mean, that's not true. I mean... That it's already happened. Uh, the miracle happened where Berserker tried to kill Saber and Shiro got in the way and totally died, but Saber saved him. I'd call that pretty miraculous, if I'm being honest. But, you know, you shouldn't count on it, even if it does sometimes happen. You shouldn't count on it happening. Your battle starts with perfecting your condition and finding the perfect situation. You see, you say all this, and you're not wrong, but you don't practice what you preach, Saber. I guess because you think you don't have to bother, but like it's the same problem just on a different level. And maybe you're right to an extent that you don't have to bother. That doesn't mean you shouldn't bother just because you don't have to, though. You're very blunt. You never think your situation through in advance too much. 
you tend to jump in and do stupid things. It's just that you do know, and you're right, that you can handle them to an extent. But that doesn't mean you should never try to plan ahead. But you don't really. You just jumped into the temple situation without really, in my opinion, thinking much of the ramifications. Just thinking, oh, I'm Saber. I'm good enough. Doesn't matter what they have planned. I'll get through it. I have to get through it. And like, I get it. But like, can't you maybe self-reflect a little bit, Saber, when telling this to Shiro that maybe even if you don't have to because you're stronger, it's not a bad idea to take that approach? I mean, it's not like in Fate Zero where you had a partner who was taking that approach, so you were able to complement each other. Here, you have a partner who's just as much, if not more, stubborn than you, so you maybe also want to learn to take that approach, you know, so that we can have compliments. It's all about making the compliments. Don't insult. Don't insult the person that wrote the novel. Just compliment them. Even if it's bad, even if it's terrible, then say nothing. That's what they thats what they say, right? If you can't say anything nice about someone, don't say anything. Or rant about it on social media. Your choice. I understand that. I'm sorry, but let me take a rest. I understand. I lean against the wall and slide down. It's easy to recognize people's own flaws in other people. I will say, as someone who is a human being and has flaws, I've de I, I myself, when I recognize flaws that I have in other people, that's when I do some self uh, self introspection. Like, oh shit, I just said, I just think thought what he did was the bad, but that's something I do sometimes, and I recognize that, and that actually does sometimes help. Um, but not always. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I recognize it, but like it's different when he does it. The circumstances are different, which may be petty of me. But sometimes it's true. But like saying that sometimes it's true is my petty perspective. So take everything I say, I guess, with a grain of salt. But it is true that when I see someone doing a thing that I do and they're doing a thing and it's a bad thing and I do it too without thinking about it. When I see someone else do it, I think about it. And then, and then that usually does give me the perspective to some extent to be like, wait, I do that dumb thing too. Hmm. Unless their flaws are that ingrained within their being. You're right. Sometimes your flaws are so ingrained you don't even think about them. However, um, I think at least it's, you're more likely to notice your own flaws if you see someone else you, having your same flaws. Depends on the flaw, though, and I guess it depends on the type of flaw. I'll get against the wall and slide down. <sighs> Fudan! That's what it means to usually. Aha! I have the word. Fudan, Fudan, Fudan. Not to be confused with futon, which is a, a thing to heat places. It's Fudan. I let out the air collected in my lungs. Also, by the way, yeah is house. Yeah is house. House or home. It, and there's a kanji for it, and it's yeah. It's like e yeah, which is no, but it doesn't have the first e. It's just e eh. So you combine them to say it quick to make yeah. I don't know. Random fun facts about Japanese. Got it. There was a last drop of water in my glass, and I just got it. It was at the bottom, but I managed to fish it out. I let out the air collected in my lungs. It should be air, but it's burning hot. It's when my body is burning with pain, I glance at the clock. Ooh, what, what time is it? Is it time to reverse time already? Are we already there? Are we already on the night of the third day? It's too soon? It's past 11. We started around 9, so that means we've been doing this for about two hours. The first hour was just me getting beat up. <laughs> Saber's blows would suddenly strike me and I'd faint slightly. <laughs> that is one way to train your body. It's a way to train it against pain. As long as you don't get hurt too much, it will train your body to be more pain tolerant. But you know, all the pain tolerance in the world probably doesn't matter if you get like beheaded, for example. Your neck can only get so strong. I'd wake up and just when I thought I'd be careful next time, I'd be knocked out again. Anyway, I was beaten up repeatedly. It came, it may be because my body got got used to it or my power uh, came out from anger but I can now manage to block the first blow oh that is real progress I was beaten up repeatedly but it, it may be because my body got used to it getting used to it yeah or your power coming out from anger maybe it's time to start channeling your anger issues maybe a little of both I can now manage to block the first blow and now you get taken out by the second blow that's real progress in like a year of training like this for a year if you did this for a year you might actually be able to combat a servant badly. On proper, even conditions, you may be able to fight them poorly. Obviously, as things stand now, you can't fight them at all. But, you know, maybe in like a year of training like this, 
you'll be a bad matchup for them, which would be a big improvement. Not that you get a year of preparing, but you know. The problem was after that, the second blow. Well, after being shown such a skill difference, can a human readily attack back? I mean, maybe not you, but isn't that part of the training so you learn to react, as Wise Fool was saying? If this isn't even doing that for you, then uh, get good, man. G learn how to not be such a pussy and just attack Saber. Oh, is that what it is? Are you sure it's not because of learn seeing such skill and because it's Saber? Do you feel awkward about attacking Saber? Because if that's the case, then this whole thing is a no-go and you're never going to get a strike in against her. Because the the even, even literal split seconds it may take you to consider, wait, I'm hitting Saber, is that okay? Are way too much for Saber to not just take you down. So, and the same will be true if you have to face Ryder or insert other female character here that is a servant. Heck, even Fence, insert female character here that isn't a servant. You won't get much more. Orny. You demon. Demon? For, for, what? For, I mean, you're the one who wanted to practice, man. And she said she was a bad teacher. The answer is I get knocked out the instant I shrink back. After that, it's like a mouse cornered by a cat. If I am being knocked out no matter how I block a blow, all I can do is get desperate and attack. But you flinch when you go to attack because it's a guile, right? Of course, it's easily deflected. Probably it's easily deflected because A, she's a servant, but B, she's a girl. A little of both. Mostly the servant thing, but the girl thing probably matters. It's easily deflected and I'm knocked out. But when I get used to that as well... Ah, oh, damn it. I start to gain the composure to think something like that. And the instincts to let me understand I'll be dead in the next second become keener. Well, yeah, but you're not dead because it's training. But yes, you would be dead. So don't freeze up in the thick of battle. If you're freezing up in the not thick of battle, you definitely freeze up in the real thick of battle. People usually call this being in the zone. The failure zone? You've been failing. I'm confused. They start to gain the composure to think something like that. Oh, okay. Wait, so you're in the zone. Did you block a second hit then? I'm confused. Then I frantically went into defense. You've been in defense the whole time. Don't pretend you were ever in offense. The instincts that tell me I'll be knocked out if that blow hits come at me in numbers. So as a living being, it's only natural for me to avoid it. So you block and then avoid. Okay, we're playing Dark Souls. We block and then avoid. We're learning their pattern. It's brutal, but we're, we're learning it. I would manage to elude Saber's barrage of attacks, but I would take a fatal blow while I'm waiting for an opening of the counter. You gotta counter at some point, man. Stop playing. You can't win, win game playing defense the whole game. Usually, unless the opponent's a dumb AI that keeps ramming themselves into your defense that also counts as an offense. You know, unless you do what I thought you might have done that one time where you ran into Berserker's sword, but I thought you ran into Saber's sword. That would have been way funnier, but also way stupider. And I'd stand up and think that I can manage longer this time. From time to time, I would take attacks thinking it'd be best to attack if I'm doomed anyway. Okay, and that didn't go very well for you, it seems. The two hours were just spent repeating that process over and over. It seems like you learned something. It's not going to take you very far in a fight against a servant, but it might actually help you a lot if you actually start fighting someone of your skill level, or which is to say human-ish. It may help, but it's kind of hard to know just facing Saber, so you may need to widen your scope. Uh, is Taiga up for some practice? That may not be a terrible idea. Once you've done a decent amount of training with Saber to see how far you've come against someone that would be of your skill level, like let's say you're not just going to be fighting servants, assumedly, you're probably going to have to do some playing against masters, so it's not useless to learn a little bit about what it's like to fight other humans. I don't know if I can get any stronger doing this. I think you are. If you fail to realize that you're getting stronger, then that's part, that's, that's a bad. You've got to realize you're doing it, so keep doing it. But of course you're Shiro, so of course you don't realize things that you should be realizing because you're dumb. That's the whole, that's like half the point of your character. You are dumb and also you have feelings for girls. Oh, and then the third half is that you, uh, you think you're not good enough that the girls will like you. And the fourth half is that um, you're stubborn. And the fifth half, too many halves, I'm sorry. That's like 500%. Or half of that. I think this is just the match to help me get used to fighting. So that I won't panic or get too relaxed in front of my enemy. It's more than that, but sure, it's that as well. I'm just teaching my body that it... It's always one mistake away from death. That is very true. That's how real battles work, yes. You don't get a random hit pool of HP that as long as you have left and a blow will never kill you like in D&D. &D. To be fair, my idea of how D&D &D HP works is that HP is your way of 
dodging attacks. Essentially, if they miss, then you dodge without straining yourself too much and you're okay. However, if they hit and you lose HP, in my mind, that's you had to strain yourself to dodge that attack. You dodged it because if it hit in real life, you'd probably be dead. Um, or it was just a scrape. Like you maybe only were barely hit. You were either barely hit or it took you a lot of effort to dodge it. And that's what takes your HP away. Um, at least that's how I had cannon HP. And that's why death saving, that's why when you run out of HP, it doesn't take much to kill you. You just got to lose three death saving throws and any um, attack against you in melee that's right up close to you is an automatic two death saving throw failures. So just a couple hits and you're dead right away, which is more true to life. Um, so that's what I view of as HP in D&D. Anyways, tangents. As I have no weapons, I believe this tensions is, is the thing I value, I have to value the most. <clears throat> Oh, that's close. That's pretty uh, close of you, Saber. Do you want to get a little closer? Yes, I would, Smoochie Ghost. Oh, well done. You hurt anywhere, Shiro? <clears throat> I mean, uh, just in my penis. I mean, just in my heart. I mean, just in my... Mm, uh, mm, uh, your eyes are pretty. Wait, she's got green eyes, just like Monica. Crossover theories! Before I realize it, Saber is right beside me. I'm so sweaty that I'm dripping on the floor, but Saber's not even sweating. It's harder to find a part that's not hurting. <laughs> it's harder to find a part that's not hurting. <laughs> You're really merciless, Saber. If things are this one sided, it's actually more refreshing. Why? Because you don't like the idea that someone's going easy on you? As a man, you don't deserve to be disrespected by having someone go easy on you? I'll be honest here, 100% of this is me being a poor loser. What? I feel like you're being very respectful. If you are being a poor loser, you'd be pouting a bunch. I think you're being a very respectful loser. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I adjusted to your level, but tried to show you no mercy. You adjusted to my level? Oh, I hate hearing that. That's not good. That means you're not fighting at actual servant level. Thought you were going to hold back. You tried to show me no mercy at my level? What, do you think this is theoretically feasible for me as a human? Are you fighting on human level? That seems nuanced. And if it does, and if that is true, then sure, you got to get good. You are not a good fighter, but at least you're learning somewhat. I adjusted to your level. You mean in power? Like you adjusted to my level in power and maybe somewhat speed? This is what you think my level should be? I should be able to fight you back at this? Am I understanding that correctly? That's what adjusting to your level means to me. Um, it would not be a battle if I allowed myself the luxury of consideration. <laughs> Thanks to that, I can now calmly deal with an unchained Doberman. That's a dog, right? Hold on. Doberman. Yep, it's a dog. I know some things. Hold on, while we're here. English to Japanese. Doberman. Doberu. Do Doberman. Doberman. Oh, okay, it's just. Okay, that's pretty simple. What about Doberman Pincher? Doberman Pincha. Okay, fine. I was expecting some fancy Japanese word, but I guess not. Gosh. Where's my kombinis? Anyways, back to the game. Uh, thanks to that, I can now calmly deal with an unchained Doberman. Interesting choice. Did he actually say that in Japanese, though? Hmm. Or is he saying a dog that's more accustomed to Japan, and they just put in Doberman in the English translation? Not sure. I'll have to... I mean, I may if I decide to not be lazy and think about it, listen to that in editing. Or I may not, in which case we'll never speak of this again. No, you did say Doberman. Interesting. Huh. Hold on, I'm gonna Google something else. Uh, what kind of dogs in Japan? I suppose... Doberman must be somewhat common. Uh, Shiba Inu. Most well-known Japanese dog. No, but Doberman. Doberman. 
This is the hardcore action you come to when you watch this LP, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what? <clears throat> um, Japan fashion pet. Military Doberman. M military? Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Oh, are military are, are Doberman commonly military dogs? Interesting. Pros and cons of a Doberman pincher. Dog breeds. Is Doberman an aggressive dog? What kind of dogs are popular in Japan? Okay, that's enough. All right, we're done enough research. <laughs> Uh, that just seems so weird. The idea that Doberman is a term that would just be used. So I guess it must be somewhat common in Japanese. Anyways. <clears throat> Though it's not good enough if it's just a Doberman. I guess I still need more training. Um, oh, you need her to level up to being like a pit bull? Or what other dogs are common in Japan? I review my actions. I thought I trained my body to be above average. But it's pitiable for me to give up after only two hours of fighting with Saber. I mean, you don't want to overdo yourself, though, or you'll be sore all over, and if a master or servant attacks us when we're not expecting it, you'll be in the worst position to fight even worse than you were before. There's no way. Um, you're wrong. Um, uh, there isn't a way to... There, you can check the log. You can look at the log. You can read the log. There's no voices. You can't play any voices. Uh, that'd be great. That is something some logs do. This log is not one of them, unfortunately. So, no. Unfortunately, I cannot look that up. But, um, that's okay. It just means we gotta live in the now. We gotta live in the present. Live in the moment. No, that's not true. Your attacks were made with all your heart, and they were powerful. Sometimes I forgot to deal with them because you were so enthusiastic. <laughs> you forgot to deal with them because <laughs> I was so enthusiastic. Oh my gosh, that sounds like it sounds like I'm the dog in this relationship. Maybe with the ultimate edition of the VN. Oh my gosh, what the one with all the sex scenes? <laughs> dash, 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 dash. My embarrassment suddenly returns. <laughs> it feels like she's the one thinking of you as a dog. Aw, it's cute when you fight. Aw, Shiro, you're cute. Oh, look at you, you little cutie. Until now, we were just people fighting without any notion of boy or girl, but isn't this kind of a surprise attack? Oh, shoot. And you're so close. Now you make out. Let's do it. Let's. Th I'm ready. Even though she's like, you know, bottom waifu. I don't care. I need some action, man. I need some action. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Damn it, not that kind of thirsty! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go get some water. No! And also, if you're gonna get a drink, don't waste your time with water. Get some juice or something cool, like milk. Be a cool kid, don't drink boring old water that's too mainstream. Uh, water? Then I'll go get some for you, so please rest here. Oh my god, we're gonna fight over who gets the water. That's so cute! Because, you know... In the relationship with Rin, it's more like, hey, Rin, go do the thing for me, please. And Rin's like, no, no, you. Um, sort of. So in this case, it's different where I'm like, I'll do the thing. And Saber's like, no, I'll do the thing. Which can't, both can potentially be unhealthy. But, you know, it's funny because, duh. Technically, she is the servant, so she is the one who's supposed to be doing these things. But also, it's the woman's duty to get the man his water when he's thirsty. <laughs> what? Women rolls. Sex rolls. I blame Shiro. Saber goes to get me some water, and you just let it happen. You didn't object. You didn't object. That's huge, actually. He didn't object. He didn't object. Is it because he didn't object? Because he's like, yes, that's the gender role. That's you fitting into the gender role I like, which means I like you more, Saber. Or did he not object because he's starting to respect Saber more as a person, and the last time he objected to one of Saber's actions, or maybe be afraid of Saber as a person, because last time he's like, don't go to the temple. Saber went to the temple anyway, so maybe a little bit of that is mixed in too. Saber goes to give me some water. <sighs> Phew, I'm saved. Oh, or maybe you're too proud. You're too proud to ask Saber because you're that kind of person, but really you're very grateful that someone was going to do it for you because, um, because you fucking pooped and you want someone. And also, oh, I bet you're about to pass out, right? You've been keeping up your composure in front of her, but really you're on the brink of passing out and just refused to do it in front of her while the lady was watching. That and or you wanted her to really get it, but you didn't want to get it, but you said you were going to get it because of pride. But once she said she would get it, you didn't want to get in the way of that because you don't have that much pride. So, just what I'm saved from? Your boner? Not passing out? I drink the water Saber has brought. 
Are you going to hide this from me? Sure, are you hiding from this from me, the viewer? Oh my god, you rascal. Phew, I'm safe, so just what am I safe from? And then you black out? Oh my god, Shiro, what are you doing? Yes, 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 Shiro, yes, king. Oh, oops, that was an accident. <clears throat> I drink the water Saber has brought me. It must be, uh, it must still be rest time as Saber is sitting in a polite Japanese style. Hey, this is like when I first saw her in these clothes. I think Saber is really beautiful like that. You just think she's always beautiful, don't freaking lie. I'm not thinking she's beautiful from a man's perspective, but I feel she's beautiful in everyone's eyes. You're objectively wrong. I'm not thinking she's beautiful from a man's perspective. Yes, you are. You're not thinking she's beautiful from a man's perspective. You're thinking she's beautiful from a Shiro perspective. Or are you saying she's beautiful and that women would like her too? Is that what you mean by not from a man's perspective? She is beautiful in everyone's eyes? You have no idea what everyone else thinks of her. I mean, she's fine. I think she's fine. She's perfectly, decently attractive. I, I wouldn't put her in its top tier of eye candy, in my personal opinion. Aesthetically pleasing. I mean, sure, I get that Shira was saying that, but there is... And there's always, you know, there always is some amount of objectivity there. There is some level of people agreeing and being like, yes, this person is conventionally attractive, but, like, there's always going to be a disagreement. Everyone is a very broad range of people, and there will be someone who's like, no, she sucks. At least one person must exist like that. It's just, it's, it's fate. <clears throat> There's an incongruity when, sh when such a girl is a servant and showing such willingness to fight because of your sexist stereotyping. Right now, only Saber and I are here. This is a good time to ask her something, so... Oh, no. Her reason for fighting. I want to know why she seeks the Holy Grail. Oh, no. I want to know about Saber before she became a servant. Oh, no. I want a secret attack. <laughs> a super move would be... <laughs> Wait, a secret attack as an attacker when she's in this post? Oh, that's what I thought. No, a super move. Oh, she wants me... She, he wants her to teach me a secret move. I understand. I thought for a second he was going to attack her while she was in that post. <laughs> that would have been fucking great. Um, okay. Save. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Personal time with the saber. Personal time with the help. Oh, jeez. Oh, cheese and crackers. This is important. Um, bad end. Saber beats Shiro to death because he... <laughs> yeah. Uh, her reason for fighting. I want to know why she seeks the Holy Grail. I mean, I, Renegade, know the reason, but what do I think would matter if Shiro him, himself asked the reason? To be fair, I don't know. Do I want to see that interaction? Do I think we'll get it? I want to know about Saber before she became a servant. As in, before the Grail, but when she was alive? They kind of go together. I, know, I want to know about Saber before she became a servant, and I want to know why she seeks the Holy Grail sort of go hand in hand. I want a secret attack, a super move would be great. That's the one, that's the one odd egg in the thing. A super move. That's just so unrealistic. A secret attack? I might have chose it to be funny if that was really what he was doing, but um uh a super move? No, you're you don't you're you don't like you can combine magic with your sword style to maybe make a super move, but that would require Rin's help most likely. So I'll probably go with one of the first two. Her reason for fighting or I doubt you know the exact reason. What, for the Holy Grail? I believe I know. I'm pretty sure I know, if memory serves me correctly. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't fully explained in Phase Zero. Or maybe I'm forgetting some details. I don't know. Uh, her reason for fighting. Or, I want to know about Saver before she became a servant. Hmm. I think Shiro knowing uh, Saber's reason for fighting would be healthy for him because but that's the thing these are both personal questions and we both agreed that saber should keep her identity a secret because shiro is shit right so like wouldn't this be going against that wouldn't this be suggesting that shiro maybe shiro deserves to know at this point but i think that's a little early hmm i want to know about saber before she became a servant 
Um, that could be a nuancy question and maybe not necessarily involve her past life. Her reason for fighting. I want to know why she seeks the Holy Grail. She could give a vague, a super vague answer, but from my understanding, what she wants very specifically relates to her past. Um, I don't think a wish would necessarily reveal her identity. Her wish does. Well, maybe it doesn't reveal it entirely if she's vague enough in her wording, but, um... You know what? Fine. Let's go with the top one. I think that Shiro, Shiro would learn a decent lesson if he gets the right information from this conversation. If it goes where I, it may go. It may not go in the direction that maybe it'll go, but if it does go there, I think that would be healthy for Shiro and his position. I mean, they both fill kind of the same role. It's just the the way you want to approach it. Um, mm, they fill kind of the same role, but I feel like this one is less on the nose and may give the same information in a roundabout way, whereas this one, Saber, may not want to be on the nose because a lot of people don't like being on the nose and would rather... Well, I mean, it's not they don't like being on the nose. It's just that when they're not on the nose, they don't realize... Go for the super moon. Nope. Nope. You're torn it. We're going to go for the opposite one. Reason for fighting. Why does she desire battle so much? Because she's got to wish you derp. Super move. Oh, Tom's Tom. Hello. <clears throat> I might be able to understand Saber's mindset. I didn't choose it, by the way. I'm sorry, Tom's Tom. I've, I've betrayed all of you. I didn't go for the super move. I might be able to understand Saber's mindset if I can find out why she seeks the Holy Grail, the reward of the Holy Grail. Why she seeks the Holy Grail, the reward of the Holy Grail. War. Oh, I mean, well, yeah. Sorry, I failed to read the last word. Why she seeks the Holy Grail, the reward of the Holy Grail. War. For a second, I just wrote, for a second, I just read why she seeks the Holy Grail, the reward of the Holy Grail. And I'm going to be like, uh. Reverse psychology wins again. Come on, Wise. You cannot. You don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You know me. Don't you know me? Stop knowing me. I am me. Don't you be me. Good work, Wise. This is why you are wise. <laughs> he is wise. Too wise. And he's got too much power. You can't be that smart and strong at the same time. But is that really something I can ask her? Saber, can I ask you a question? Hi. Hi, what is it, Shiro? It's something I forgot to... Ooh, this song. It's something I forgot to ask. This song. I dig it. It's a very samurai-y song, if I may add, which is kind of uh, juxtaposed. This is not the samurai man, but it is the dojo, so... Something I forgot to ask. You're letting me your power because you want the Holy Grail, right? So, what do you want from the Holy Grail? Liar, you two have a... I thought you were done. Liar, you totally have a reason. The reason I seek the Holy Grail can it not be because I desire it. I mean, I guess, but it's, that's not the reason you desire it. The Holy Grail is an almighty vessel. There is no wish that cannot be granted if one possesses it. Uh, eh, uh, I mean, yeah, but you still need, you know... One needs no risk to seek such a thing. <laughs> That's Rin's logic. No, no, no. I mean, if you don't have a wish, then, like, then there's no point. You gotta have something you want. You can't... You, you really think the Grail is just gonna wait on you? This Grail that, that wants the war to even be entertaining to give itself out to the winner? You really think it's gonna wait around for you? I think when it, when it comes time, you gotta give it your wish, or it's gonna be like, Oh, I'm not waiting around for you, bitch. See ya! And leave. Honestly. But anyways... One needs no reason to seek such a thing. Even the reason of needing no reason is ultimately still going to at least be subconsciously the reason of, like, pride or accomplishment. Like, pride and accomplishment, you know. Insert reference to whatever, who they ever they are. Who said that? I forget. But, you know, 
Insert making fun of that company here. No, that's not what I'm asking. Saber, you're trying to dodge the question, right? And you're doing a great job at it, might I add. And by that I mean, no, you're not. You're sucking at dodging the question. Get better. You're not good at dodging. You're only good at blocking. And that was a shitty block. You should go back to attacking. Shiro, that's... I'm sorry, what? What did I miss? Why, why the sudden change in expression? I mean... Yes, of course you're not trying to answer his question. Did you not realize how obvious your misdirection was? I mean... Oh, of course I don't need a wish. I don't have a wish. Like, of course someone would be suspect when you say that. And sure, notice it. You know you're doing a bitch. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. I don't know. Want I don't want to know the reason you seek it. You already know the reasons. Like either it's for a wish, or it's because of pride and accomplishment. Like that's the reason Rin wants it. Um, but anyways, I don't want to know the reason you seek it. I want to know what the wish you want granted is. The wish you want, whatever your wish is, is the reason that you seek it though. Like, unless you don't have a wish and you're a weirdo like Rin, you, your wish is your reason for seeking it. So, grumble grumble, what do you mean? They're the same thing? A leads to B. Yeah, he has weird wishes, like wanting, wishing for a supervillain that he can defeat, and preferably going back in time and stopping the fire. That'd be a more healthy wish, I think. More healthy than wishing for a supervillain. Dash, 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 dash. Saber closes her mouth awkwardly. Doesn't look that awkward to me, but sure. Well, it's only natural. Saber didn't form the contract to help me personally. Well, I mean... Hmm. That's a layered answer. Since the only ones who can obtain the Holy Grail are the Masters, she is only helping me to take share in the reward. Well, no, because she is chaotic good. Um, uh, she's a good person, so she's willing to help you. Haven't you looked at the freaking stats to see the alignments of the characters? Uh, the only ones who obtain the are the Masters. She is only helping me to take share in the reward. Well, it, actually, it's the reverse. It's the servant who who grabs the Holy Grail and grants it to their Master. But then they both get a wish. So it's not... I mean, yes, it's sharing, but, like, the idea... Anyways. Semantics. Grail politics. We'll get there when we get the... You know, we'll get there at the end after we've beaten everyone else, including Archer. That is why she must be hesitating to tell her wish. And most of all, I myself don't want to hear Saber describe a selfish wish. I mean... I mean, it's a wish. I feel like almost all wishes are selfish. No, all wishes are selfish. Even if it is a selfless thing that helps people, you are still selfishly, instead of getting, unless you're getting the consult of what other people want, what does the community want? Unless you're looking around asking other people what they want and going based off popular opinion, that's a selfless wish, I guess. However, if you're deciding yourself, even if it's something you think is best for the world, if you're deciding what that thing that's best for the world is, is... That's a selfish wish, far as I'm concerned. But I guess that's taking, you know, he's not thinking of selfish the same way I am, but. So I shouldn't have asked. If you say that, then every selfish act a person does personally is selfish. There is nothing wrong with selfishness. Nothing wrong with it. Selfishness is not inherently negative, far as I'm concerned. But maybe I'm just defining the word differently than you are. And I know that's weird, but hey, language, words, definitions. I shouldn't have asked. <clears throat> After all, it's rude for a person without a clear wish to ask other people's wishes. Yeah, because you haven't really decided whether you want a supervillain or you want to time travel yet. You're kind of torn, right? I wish for this wish I am making to be selfless. Hmm, that's complicated. Tom's Tom, you just came up with an interesting one. If you wish to be a more selfless person... Is that a selfless wish? That one's complicated, because what does it mean to be more selfless? 
Because generally being selfish means you do things for yourself. And selfless means you would do a wish and then you'd be a better person, which could help in the long run. Which means you're a pretty good person for saying you want to be selfless in the first place. In which case, you're just wasting a wish, man. If you're selfless enough, if you're a good enough person to realize that it would be nice to wish to be selfless, then you shouldn't waste your wish on, wa on wishing to be selfless. Make an actual good wish, man. Don't waste the wish. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's a paradox. It's like, if you're a good enough person to ask to be selfless, then stop, don't waste a wish on asking to be selfless. But anyways... After all, truth for a person without a clear wish to ask other people's wishes. Sure, was that a command as a master? Which part? Oh, you mean about uh, what your wish is? I mean, only if you want it to be. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It's impossible for one to do selfless things unless someone literally controls you to do the action. No, not entirely. You can selflessly... I mean, if you ask the opinions of others, you don't need someone to force it on you. If you're going along with the opinions of others and you genuinely think that they are, then that's, to me, the idea of selflessness. At least how I define the term, which maybe you take it even further, but... Sure, is that a command as a master? Suddenly... Saber asked the question without a serious expression. No, with a serious expression. If it was without it, she would be naked with a swimsuit on. Who ends the swimsuit episode? No, it's not. I didn't intend that. It's just a request. It's not a command. I was just curious about you. Sorry for asking about it. Although, like... I mean... Hold on. Wait, hold on, my holding on. No! What do you mean, is it a command? Does it matter if it's a command? You've disobeyed my commands before, Saber! What do you have to say about that? Sorry, we're past that. I know we're past that, but like, you know, to be fair, you have disobeyed my commands before, so you could just disobey this one. I'm just saying, if you didn't want to obey it, you could just disobey it, because clearly stating commands doesn't matter as much between us. You've broken the trust because you've disobeyed a command once, so I can't fully trust that you'll not break another one, so why even bother not making it a command? Sure, it's a command. You can decide whether or not you want to follow it, because you've chose to not follow one before. <laughs> uh, but by going to the opinions of others means you still took the choice to listen to them, your own personal choice. Still be selfless, since you selfishly chose to agree with the majority. Uh, yeah, wait, uh, 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 I don't agree with that interpretation. I don't take it that far. You may take it that far, wise fool Tom's Tom, but I don't really take it that far. Going to the opinions of others means you still took the choice to, yes, you took the choice to listen to them. Instead of making your own choices and coming to your own conclusions, you decided to seek the counsel of others, which to me is the selfless thing to do. Now, maybe you were picky and choosy about who you chose to listen to, and yes, there's such a thing as being more and less selfless, but I do feel like listening to the opinions of others is usually the selfless or things to do. Now, of course there's nuance and there's always exceptions and catches to everything, but like, as a blanket statement to me, if you're seeking the counsel of others, you're doing a selfless act. Helping others for the simple satisfaction of helping Having done that good action is still s selflessness in my book. Helping others for the simple satisfaction of having done that. That depends. I think that can go both ways. I mean, it depends on the motive. If you're helping others because you like helping others, that's one thing. But, like, if you're helping others because, like, if you don't help others, you lose your mind. Like, you, that's the thing that gives your life purpose is that you have to help others then that, I would say, is not selfless. That's you being you. That's you doing a you thing. And it would be selfless to... If there's a situation that comes up where not helping is the optimal solution and you then choose to do that, that's the selfless thing. But if you choose to help them because you just have to help people, that's selfish. It's nuanced. I disagree with the doing things for your own benefit is selfish because you choose to do it philosophy. Doing good things for your own... I per... Okay, you can disagree, disagree, but my philosophy is that that's, that's, 
that's the selfish. And I don't think there's anything wrong inherently with being selfish. I don't think selfish should just be negative connotation to me. I think there's bad selfish and good selfish. But I guess, I don't know. Who cares? Semantics. It's just, you know, <clears throat> we all understand that there's, you know, bad selfish and then there's less bad selfish, and to me there's much less bad selfish. To other people maybe there's not so much, much less bad selfish. But anyways... Um... I was just curious about you, sorry for asking about it. Oh, selfish is innately negative for you. Ooh, gonna have to hard pass on that opinion. You agree with me about the coward thing? Okay, but yeah. Um, for me, yeah, saying someone's selfish, I don't think there's any inherent negative connotation more than there is saying someone's selfless. Um, I think being selfless can be just as bad as being selfish, depending on the context. Um, but anyways, sorry for asking about it. Well, okay, sorry, when I say being selfless can be just as bad as being selfish, I mean psychologically and for your health. What I'm trying to say is being selfless is a generally more good thing, but because there's exceptions to everything, you can be unhealthily selfless just as much as you can be unhealthily selfish. Although you are more likely to be bad selfish than you are to be bad selfless. Usually if you're bad selfless, it's out of unhealthiness than it is out of actual badness. I disagree and still go with the humans literally cannot make a selfish choice philosophy. Humans cannot make a selfish choice? Huh? See, I'm kind of the opposite. I think humans cannot make a selfless choice on their own. For me, I think humanity is a general shitty species, so I have a very cynical perspective of our race. I mean, I also have a rather cynical perspective, but, like, I choose to look at good side of things anyways. It seems odd to me that you disagree with the... Hmm, you think selfish is innately negative. Alright, selfishness is also naturally negative for me. That being said, being selfish is natural. Well, gosh. Self, self, selfie, self, 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 let's just, everyone take a self, everyone take a selfie, everyone gets their selfie, and stop thinking about selfish and selfless. I was just curious about you, sorry for asking about it. As a servant, I certainly must tell my master my, my wish. <laughs> I don't necessarily like taking selfies either. I don't really, you know, I don't like, I don't put the word, the quotation marks around the word like, um, taking pictures in general, not that I dislike it, but I think humanity natural inclination is being selfish, and therefore I think humanity, being its base nature, is negative. I am in disagreement with that. I think you're right. Humanity's base nature is selfish. And I don't think that's inherently negative. I think there is a lot of shittiness going around, but I don't tie it to selfish, selfish, selfishness. Um, I think humanity is rather, I am cynical. I do have a cynical outlook on humanity, but then I also think, why not wish that things, look at the bright side. I like looking at the bright side. I, I believe that yes, there's a bad side, but don't live your life just living in the bad side. Try to look at the bright side is sort of how I look at it. But to me, that's not really tied at all to selfishness. Selfishness, yes, I do think humanity's nature is pretty selfish, but that no way implies negativity for my end. I think a good amount of selfishness is actually healthy. That's of what I said you know, earlier about if you're too selfless, I think that's problematic. But anyways, as a servant, I certainly must tell my master my wish. Shiro, I seek the Holy Grail to fulfill an obligation. I want the power of the Holy Grail to accomplish a duty I could not accomplish during my lifetime. I mean, that's vague. I seek the Holy Grail to fulfill an obligation. I want the power of the Holy Grail to accomplish a duty I could not accomplish during my lifetime. That's also not entirely accurate from what I understand, or rather, you're picking your words carefully. It's not a lie, but it's cherry-coated. Directly. Actually, it was rather indirect. She didn't state her purpose at all. With honest eyes, she says so. The opposite of direct, actually. That was very roundabout and vague. Hmm. 
That is rather odd. You somewhat project your own morals onto everyone. I mean, everyone does that to some extent. Even when you, you try to be, you know, caring of everyone's morals, nobody's perfect in that regard. Uh, I only care about myself and the people around me, but my ethical nature is saying that's a shitty way to live life, so... See, I don't really agree. I don't think that is a shitty way to live life. Caring about yourself and those around you, if you're, uh, if you're caring about your others around you and not just yourself, I don't think that's bad at all. Yes, it's selfish that all you care about is the people around you and you, but at least the fact that you care about the people around you, I think is a pretty good thing. Some people don't even do that. I'd say that's pretty positive. Looking at the bright side, I like to look at the bright side. I don't think that's shitty at all. Um, but also, I feel like life in general, life is not an anime. Life is not, you know, we aren't, there is no, I mean, what greater purpose is there to life? Like, let's get really philosophical for a second. I think most of life is just find what you like and do what you like and hope that you enjoy doing what you like and maybe help other people do what they like if you feel like it and you get bored a little bit sometimes. But like, to me, I just want everyone to be able to find what they like and do what they like. And that's the good thing. That's the success of life. As far as, yeah, we could colonize other planets, we can, sure, I'm, I'm sure some people are into that, but like, what's the end goal? There's no end goal. Yeah, we could colonize Mars, and then what? We enjoy life on Mars. Still about enjoying life, but then some people I feel lose sight of that and just focus on, you know, I, this is my job, I, I need to make a mark on the world, and for them, maybe that's okay, but maybe it's not. I think it's a person-to-person -person situation. I don't think there's anything wrong with selfishly living your life and just wanting the best life and wanting, as long as it doesn't go, get hurt the lives of others on your trek to be selfish, then that's when it gets into negativity, I think. But, uh, uh, my morality that I have been brought up through tradition and family has beaten into me the nature of helping everyone is the morality morally right way to live life the as in the morally right way is to try to help as many people as possible in the world no fuck that don't waste your life you know because it's never you're never going to be able to help any everyone anyways you're not a god is my way of looking at it i accept that it's both natural and bad and i absolutely don't feel bad about it or regret it um i accept it as natural and i don't think of it as bad and i don't regret it of course you can't help everyone um like sure you know I mean, do you want to be a doctor to help people to make them live? There's nothing wrong with wanting that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a doctor and stuff. But there's nothing wrong with not wanting to be a doctor. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to better society. Because, I mean, what's it all for? Does life have a greater, greater purpose? Because if not, just have fun, man. I don't think there's anything wrong with viewing life that way. Because what else is there? I mean, depends on who you ask, really. I guess for some people, there's... Maybe they're, they do think they are... Maybe there's also a atheism. I am atheist. So maybe, you know, religious people, I, I suppose, to some extent, maybe think that is the greater purpose. Is, and there's that. And that's fine. You do you. But I feel there's nothing wrong with being selfish. Selfish is the natural way to be. And I think that's the more healthy state, if anything. As long as it doesn't evolve into negativity, I think selfish is the more positive state of being. I think being too selfless means you lose sight of how to enjoy yourself and never enjoy your own life and maybe slightly make the lives of others better, but at the cost of your life sucking. And maybe it's it's complicated. The thing is the argument you're saying right now, Renegade, I so badly wish to follow, but there's always a core of my being that objects to being selfish. Yeah. I get that, but my core of my being has been brought up, like, yeah, I just, I, at, at a certain point, I'm like, there's no point, just have fun, um, which I think, I want everyone in the world to have fun, and it's good, you should also be productive, so that, you know, you want, we want life to, oh my gosh, life needs things to live, um, we want life to uh, like, we want it to progress for the sake of our children, and we don't want the world to, um, for the sake of our children or grandchildren or whatever. Some people think like that, but, um, but yeah, and so there is the furthering of the world, and I do think there is a certain point where the world becomes too, 
you know, everyone becomes too selfish and we don't even bother with maintaining the world and it just implodes on itself. But then it's awkward because it's, there's always the feeling of, oh, it won't happen in my lifetime. So it doesn't matter, right? Well, by the time it gets to the lifetime of someone where it does matter, it'll be too late. To stop it from happening, you have to do it in a lifetime before it even gets to that lifetime. And to me, that is what is selfless in a good way, I say. And I respect people that think that way, because I don't really tend to go in that direction. The whole, oh yeah, global warming is bad, we should stop it. Um, but I don't personally think I would ever go out of my way to do anything to stop it, because it likely will not affect me in li my lifetime. I'll be dead by then. That's the selfish way to look at it. And I have mad respect for anyone who does want to try to stop that stuff and maybe acts and tries to stop that stuff for the benefit of future generations. But um, it's complicated. It's really complicated. And I can see why not much is getting done in the world because there's probably a lot of people that are thinking like that. Like, eh, I could help with global warming, but like a lot of people would have to help to make it work anyways. And I mean, it's not going to affect me in my lifetime. But so I, it's very good that there are multiple people in the world to make the world function as a unit. Because uh, like if everybody existed was like me, it'd be bad. I admit that having different perspectives is good. I just think that the people that are being that selfless, I hope, I hope, you know, also have a good amount of healthy amount of fun in their life. Anyways, relate this to fate in some way. Shiro's pseudo philosophy in some way, what I think as morally good person should strive towards helping everyone that they can reach. I mean, eh, I, I don't know, eh. At a certain point, I think he's being rather... Honestly, I think he's selfish. I mean, I think everyone's selfish, but... Okay, how should I put this? Um, um, I don't think... Shiro isn't necessarily... It's layered. Everyone's flawed in some way. I just think Shiro... Especially with saying that he wants to fight in place of Saber. That is so selfish. That's so selfish. Like, that's so selfish. I don't feel bad about trampling on others for the sake of my own happiness, even though that's wrong. Something does not affect my own happiness, sure. <clears throat> eh. I think there's a, there's a point. There's layers. Um, it depends. Like, there, the society we live in is one where, you know, you want the job that makes the most money. Well, not everyone can have that job. There's not all the money in the world. Um, we don't live in a communist society. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you ask. Um, but the problem is with communists, you know, the ideal world probably would be communism, but that would be if everybody agreed to it, and of course, that would never happen because different perspectives. Um, and so this is the world we live in. I'm basically done with fate, by the way. Um, I'm, get, I'm done today. I'm just rambling for a bit before I stop the video. If you're waiting for me to continue, let me make a save point. Um, rambling about life. Although, hold on. Before, you know what? To make few people feel better if they stuck out this long. Um, okay. Accomplish duty during your lifetime. Even before you become a servant, I'll do one more line. Yes, but I do not know my true intentions myself. That's weird. I'm going to psychoanalyze that later. There, now I didn't, uh, scam everyone. Okay, um, <laughs> communism will never work because humans' nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To camps, everyone who disagrees, <laughs> we start with socialism. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyways, yeah, the world, yeah, you, uh, you make me your dic dic dictatorial leader until we reach true communism. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tom, stop. Ah! Um, yeah, the whole thing about trampling on others for the sake of, I think there's a point, there's a point where you cross a line and, but, but like, again, everyone's going to have a different idea of where that line is. Um, once you really cross that line, that's when you start to get into things like, um, uh, you know, things like, oh, I think you, eh, eh, mm. morality and ethics is complicated and there's a reason we have been debating about this for millennia. Yeah. Yeah, it's very complicated. 
Um, instead of wasting time talking about it, I'd rather just indulge by playing visual novels. But, um, no, there's some fun in talking about it, to an extent. To a point. Um, I mean, yeah, but yeah, in this society, trampling on others... I feel like if you're in a system where you're supposed to become on top to get the most happiness, I think there's nothing wrong with trying to reach the top. But um, not all systems in society are like that. And there's also a certain point where it's like, oh, you ranked A, B, C, D, and E. Oh, but you could rank S if you force the person who ranked B down into rank C in society. That's when I think things become a little sketchy. We don't only debate because those who disagree aren't in camps. Okay, Tom Stom, you're getting a little, uh, you're getting a little, uh, sounds, uh, sounds something like World War III. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways, I'm done. This is the end of the video. This is the end of the video. Um, for me, oh, wait, nope, I'm gonna read, I gotta keep reading comments. I believe the base nature of humanity in, is hen, hedonism, and it's due to society that we learn and gain our own morals and ethic philosophy. Okay. Huh. <sighs> oh, man, ethics, right? culture anime is not culture i brought it around okay i'll see you guys next time on let's play fate oh my gosh rambling i'm probably gonna leave a little thing in the description of this video that's like the last 30 minutes of this video is just politics and life uh my own empathy to make sure a line is not crossed trampling on someone in a bad way would make me unhappy everyone has that yeah everyone has a line somewhere it's three years. I will freaking... Mm, mm, one year. It's one year. In fact, it's negative three years. It's negative 100 years. Kiritsugu time traveled into the future when he passed out. There was a body set for him in the future, and he went through a time travel scenario and is now alive 100 years in the future in a future Holy Grail War. He's Shiro's great-great-great-great-grandson because of weird time travel laws, and he's still alive and living out a great life in the future because I like Kiritsugu. See you guys next time. Still don't have an outro phrase. That's the end of the video. We brought it back to fate, guys. We brought it back to fate.